Yo, dude, we did our first tattoo. I mean, it's not all done, but... Hello all. Sorry, my computer forced a restart. Gotta love it. Anyway, I'm gonna try to get my captions in. I panicked and lost all my tabs because one started playing audio. Oh, I hate to see it. It's okay. <sighs> anyway, hope everyone's doing well. It is what hope you're all is. having a good day. So, captions should be going. <sighs> Um, also, we're going to be getting started here in just a second, but, um, anyway, I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> Hello, my name is Abby Russell, this is my 100 baby challenge, right? Um, Currently drawing on my lip liner. Get a plum bob tattoo. <laughs> I'm not really so big on video game tattoos, but I'm not against it. The thing is, I don't get color tattoos. So it just kind of looks like a diamond, which is fine, but. Um, honestly, when I get tattoos, I feel like. I don't know if this is a Brooklyn thing. I don't think it is, but maybe it is. But the tattoos I get, it's different than how it used to be or how it is for. Oh, thank you, Jordan, for the five months. Um, like, when I get a tattoo, I go into the tattoo shop. Well, no, that's not even how it is. I make an appointment usually via Instagram with a specific artist. I go into a private studio a lot of the time, and then I pick something from their flash, and flash is just, like, pre-made drawings and art. Um, so typically I pick something from there versus being like, this is my idea for a tattoo. Do it for me. Um, I learned pretty quickly, I don't want to design my own tattoo. I don't have the skills. I like tattoos as art, and I want to see what somebody else could make for me, you know what I mean? Occasionally I have, like, semi of an idea, but usually it's off the backs of, like, the work they've already had done, you know? Anyway, we will be getting started here in just a second. <sighs> Don't you worry. I'm trying to figure out which lipstick I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear my Urban Decay F-Bomb Cream. Why not? Do you know that um, makeup expires? It does. I don't check my expiration dates, but... It's like a way to tell. I don't super remember what it is, but... I like to get something drawn by them based on a reference pick. Yeah. Or my artist is good at drawing what I have in mind. Like I'll give her something I had in mind and she does it in her style, which is great. Yeah, that's great. But I feel like for me, even that's too much work. Like a lot of the times I go in, get a tattoo. And sometimes, you know, they'll have their flash on their Instagram, but usually it's like, well, I know what their style is. I have an idea of like the kind of tattoos they've done before. And then I look at their flash and I decide in the moment what I'm going to get. That's usually how I do it. Anyway, hello everyone. But I think all tattoos are great. I saw this really cool TikTok. It wasn't a really cool TikTok, but it was a TikTok I liked that was like, I'm a tattoo artist and this is what I think of your tattoos. And then it's like, you got a tattoo with like thin, fine lines. That's great, I hope you really like it. Like you got a tattoo, retro tattoo with bold colors. That's really great, I hope you really like it. And I feel the same way about it too, which is like, hey, if you're excited about it, rock and roll you know anyway shall we get started 
No reason to putz around any longer. Hello. Welcome to my stream. My name is Abby Russell. Today we'll be streaming more of The Sims 4, that is. And we are currently renovating every lot in The Sims because it's fun to do. And also, I want... We are making... Um, What's it called? I'm uh, a brutalist museum, looking at a lot of brutalism architecture. For those who don't know brutalism, it's like, you know, it's like that is that FBI building in Boston that I think was on The Departed. Let me find. Pretty sure FBI Boston images. No, that's not it. Um, brutalism architecture. Boston. Here we go. This is what I'm thinking of. What is this? What is this? I don't remember what... I thought this was like an FBI building. Boston City Hall. Why did I think it was an FBI building? Anyway, I love this building. But, wow, I've never seen the inside of it. That's sick. Anyway, it's not inspired by this specific one necessarily, but just brutalism in general. That is what we are making today because it's what I like. Government Center. Just filed my taxes. Oh, my God. I did my taxes last night. I'm so tired. I got a coffee today. I have a Coca-Cola. I didn't mean to hit my glasses with my coffee. And, of course, a Big Larry. I'm going to take a sip from Big Larry today. Hmm. Department of Motors building was in Men in Black. I think I... Oh, they tore it down. That's too bad. Nice Triforce figure. Have fun and good luck with your meetings. Did taxes in February. Ugh, I don't... We don't need to get into my finances. <laughs> I always owe. So it's never fun. And it's always a thing where I'm like, I did it. if I did it a different way, maybe I wouldn't know as much. I need to hire a tax person. I think next year I probably will. I tried to this year. Nobody got back to me. And the people who did were like very expensive. And I was like, I don't think this will be worth it because I'm just going to owe you and also the government. Anyway, who gives a hoot? Let's get started. Boop. Um... Also, fun thing about today is um, after the stream at 5.30, I'll stay on and uh, the Resident Evil Village, you know, the Resident Evil game, they are having like their press release or like a stream about the game. So I'm going to be there. Official Capcom reaction stream. I don't know what they call it, but anyway. See you there. Right, we'll just continue to stream right on through it. But um, where were we? So I believe we were building this in San Mushino. Yes, here it is. Honestly, look at it from here. It looks pretty cool. I'm into it. Into it. Okay, let's uh, let's get to building. Ah. <sighs> anyway. Make it daytime. So this is what we have so far. We're still working on it. I wish this concrete was like more worn in, I guess. I don't know how else to say it. So we kind of have this like glass house building on the outside, which I really like the look of. I think it's neat. And I think it is, um, I don't know. I think it's cool. And I think it feels like an art piece within the rest of the building. <gasps> I love that this is probably supposed to be like the fake subway. That's so sick. Oh, man. Look at all these other buildings. They did a really good job. They always do a good job with like the background buildings here. Like, look at these, the hills. And there's like a road coming underneath the building. That's very Boston. You know that like um, stop and shop that's like above a highway? It's a really weird structure. Ooh, just kill chill. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Um... So my thing is, like, a lot of this building is just big square energy. Just not my favorite thing in the world. So I want to know how to fix it. <laughs> like, I don't hate it as it is, but I think it can be more interesting is kind of where I'm at. Um, we are going to look at brutalism architecture. Once again, I misspelled architecture and brutalist. Okay. Boop. Images. It's also like, let's see what designing buildings wiki, let's see what it says. Wow, what a fun wiki. Brutalism, also known as brutalist architecture, is a style that emerged in the 1950s and grew out of the early 20th century modernist movement. Who cares? 
Okay, massive, monolithic, and blocky appearance with a grid, geometric style, and larger scale, scale use of poured concrete. Which I feel like we're kind of working on. I feel like we can have more geometric stuff in there. Um, decline in the 70s. Oh, it is a little unwelcoming and inhuman. And that's why I like it. Um, <clears throat> there's also that's like, uh, hold on. There was that like building structure. Uh, clockwork orange apartments. Because it was like this abandoned like apartment building. This is just the inside of it. I think this is maybe the outside of it, but it doesn't show the full thing because it's like a whole neighborhood of these like brutalist buildings that I think was originally supposed to be like, move in, it'll have your school, it'll have like the shops and like all this stuff like kind of built into this like sort of neighborhood, but it was all really brutalist. Anyway, love the look of this place. The house is so fun. This is like a real person's apartment that they're like, we got to make up for it. I, I don't know why I got really into the behind the scenes of this movie specifically but a while ago i was like i gotta look into a clockwork orange and i did and i there are these statues these like dancing jesus statues that i think are so cool looking um they're expensive let me find images hell yeah abby Brutalize the shit out of that museum. Thank you, Tudor Jones. Thank you for the five months. Anyway, here they are. It's, they're like, it really just made me want, like, statues. I feel like I don't know anybody who has, like, statue art in their house. But they only come in these, like, sets of two, and they're really expensive because they are on eBay. Um, man, I don't know. I There's, like, a lot of weird sort of erotica. It was like, anyway, I can't. I'm going to get this video taken down from Twitch. <laughs> but anyway, I, th I don't know why I love these statues so much. I'm going to show you. There, there's like an eBay listing. Who gives a hoot? I don't know why I'm doing this. Dancing. Jesus. I'm going to show you how much they cost, though. A clockwork orange. Because they, like, remade them. Oh, maybe they took them down. S statues. Oh, I misspelled Jesus. Oh, yeah, I can't find them. Anyway, they're going for, like, $1,500, $2,000 for, like, open sets of two. That's not even the full four of them. Anyway, no one cares, but... <laughs> <sighs> nudity isn't banned if it's art. Well, we'll see, hopefully. I mean, there's nudity in um, Animal Crossing. Some of the statues. Anyway. How many subs is that? <laughs> it's a great question. Um... Anyway, I, it made me really want statues. Like, I feel like I think of wall art pieces. I don't think of, like, on desktops and shit art pieces. And I, I want to. Anyway, Clockwork Orange. Great movie. Even better book. One of my favorite books. Okay, so let's get back to designing this structure. Again, Sims team, if you're listening, are you there? God, it's me, Abby. And God is the Sims team. Um, please, Sims 5, please, please, please. I love the glass roofs. Make glass walls. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Anyway. Um, continuing on. Oh, nice. Read that book in high school because my French teacher recommended it. Oh, fascinating. I love that book. For a while in eighth grade, all I was reading was classics. There was like a three-year period where all I was reading was classics. A Clock Record was in that, and I loved it. Very good. I think I probably read it 8th or ninth grade, I'm guessing. Yeah, anyway, I do remember reading a bunch of classics. Who cares? Triangular glass pieces is cool. Uh, yeah, that too. I just want to be able to, like, fully fit this in, you know? Let me do this. That being said, I'm very pleased with how this is working so far. I think this is going to be a really cool reception area. Right into cafe gift shop, and then stairs going upwards. And I think I might just keep it these big giant squares. I think it's really boring, but hopefully with windows, we can make it look better. Read Lolita at that age and reread it as an adult. Oh, I remember reading Lolita at I think 15 or 16, probably about the age Lolita was, maybe a little bit older. Um, and I think I like got it enough to know like Humbert Humbert isn't a reliable, like I wasn't romantic about it. Um, but I was also reading it of like, this is a classic, I should read it. I do remember there's like a long stretch 
where like Humbert Humbert is like driving across the US chasing after some dude. I'm like, this is fucking boring as fuck. <laughs> anyway, who cares? Should I shave a little of the front from the bottom floor to avoid gaps in the wall windows? Shave a little of the front from the bottom floor gaps. Oh, yeah, I guess I could. It's not a bad plan. I could go boop. Oops, I don't know if... Yeah, I think you're right. I think it would be worth one square. Good call. My brain could not process that sentence when I first read it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm, I think it'll be okay. Good call. Good call, Hunter. Thank you. Hard to write in a way that made sense. Yes. Boop. Yeah, I think that still fits well. I'm cool with that. And then we can have like little like seating and stuff out front maybe. <sighs> Second cup of coffee. Hell yeah. Favorite architectural style. Ooh, fun. I'm doing... I did my vote. Gothic is winning. Anyway. <sighs> okay, so... I'm gonna look up the Whitney. I'm like trying to figure out, cause right now it just feels like such a big block. Whitney Museum West Village. I don't know if it's really the West Village or like the, the neighborhood. Oh, it is in the West Village, okay. Well, this is like not exactly brutalist, but it's it's got a lot of really interesting architecture. It's like almost brutalist, you know what I mean? There's like too much glass for it to be like really brutalist. But I feel like it's got similar vibes for me right now. Um, got big stairs you go up. I love the Whitney. Got the big balcony. Nice tiered system. I feel like I need more like uneven layers on this one. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, Art Deco rules. Yeah. Ooh, ancient Greek Roman. Yeah. I feel like for me living in a house, I want like... Oh, I forgot I did these little indents. That's fun. What if I did... Hmm. So I could do something like this. I could go... Boop, boop. Um, and then... But I don't know if that... It's like kind of tiered for the sake of being tiered, but doesn't really offer a whole lot else. You know, like what good does that do me? What if I did bumped another one in? Oops, that's too much. One out. Then this overhangs even more. Hmm, that looks bad. All right. Hmm. Oops. Huh. How do I want to do this? Okay, what if I did this? Oh, I like really, it's gonna be hard with how this is set up. Okay, let's bump it in. Eh. Maybe this is fine as it is. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out like an interesting way to do this. Like I feel like we need more I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Maybe this will just help me out in a general sense. Do I have this one or two squares? These are all one squares. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, this? Remove wall. Okay, this, I want it to be half wall. Okay, well, I feel like that's a start for making it look a little more interesting. And then maybe around this, I could put a half wall and that might help. What? Oh, I can't. Why? I just want a little half wall here. I made the building too tall. 
Hello, Al Yankee. Second vax. Hell yeah. I hope you feel better. But know that feeling bad means it's all working. So that's really exciting for you. Tomorrow is Friday. Happy TGIF, everyone. Okay. I'm like trying to figure out how I want to do this. I might bump you in a minute. Hmm. I'm gonna look at more brutalism architecture. Get some ideas. Brutalism. So, it's really just like a lot of concrete. Honestly, I don't think we're far off. I think it's okay. I'm gonna start adding in windows and maybe we can do something a little more interesting. Brutalism. Images. Like, cause this shit, I can't, it's cause that's too hard to do in the Sims, you know? Like maybe one day, I feel like the ship has sailed for that. This kind of stuff's cool, but I mean, I probably could make a lot of, bunch of little bump outs like this, right? Should I try to do this? It's going to take a fucking long ass time. Maybe I'll try to do this in the back. <sighs> Check out Dallas City Hall. Okay. Oopsies. Didn't mean to do that. Dallas. Dallas. That's not how you spell Dallas. City Hall. I didn't do enough L's. Boom. Images. Mmm. Yeah, that's a cool one. It's very imposing in a way I like. Oh, I love this. Oh, we need to do like fountains and stuff. That'll be cool. Some fountains. Um. Okay, cool. That was a cool one. Um, I think I'm gonna try to go for like these kinds of boxes around the outside or some of the sides or something. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Trying to set it up so I can actually see it on the screen a little bit. Oop, stop doing that. Oh god. Oh boy. Ugh. How diagonal can we go with this build? Not really very. It's also like once you start going diagonal, it ruins it's makes it so hard to place furniture in there. Like truly. Okay. So I'm just gonna start busting out some boxes on this bad boy. Um we're gonna take it from there. Seems like an okay move to me. So like a lot of the thing with this guy, what we're working with here, let me just, is that it is like, oops. It's, uh, these boxes, nope. They're all kind of overlapping willy nilly. They jut out a little bit. It's also in how the windows are done. Oh, we could also just do something like this. This is basically what I built before when I had the tiered thing and then just have like wackadoo windows on the outside. What building is this? Is this a New York? What is this? Whoa, cool. This is the old Whitney building. <laughs> no wonder. Um, this is also very cool. I don't know what this is, but it's so sick. You know, I might go with that weird tiered thing we had going before. But you know what? I Well, it might be too late. I was like, what might be a good idea if we're going to do something like this? Is make this not the tallest. But look what that did to this building. <laughs> like. <sighs> okay. Spirit of Brutalism is an architect fighting in practical structural integrity with reinforced concrete. Yeah. That sounds about right. Alright, I'm gonna try the bump. I'm just gonna try. Boom. Um. Let's just go. I mean, this is sort of working so far. I don't know if it looks good, but it's a thing. Oh, what happened to the... Okay.
Um, and then I could even have them like coming in. That might be the way I'm gonna do it. Is I'm gonna have it like overhang less and less as you move in. So like, oopsies, keep doing this. No, stop it. It's gonna ruin my windows, isn't it? No, we're okay. Um. Okay, do we like this? Is this something we enjoy? Is this working for us? I don't know if it is. Okay, people like it. Add grebbles. I don't know what grebbles are. Okay, I think we can make this work. It's a little weird. People are saying it's working for them. All right, let's do this. Let's commit. Okay, I do want to make them like better squares just for the sake of figuring this out. This, this tool. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to- I'm just trying to figure this out. Because I also don't want it to look too, like, organized and neat, you know what I mean? Grebbles are just the weird sticking out cubes that get added to sci-fi shapes and buildings! <laughs> That's what we're doing! Okay, great. Um, I do wish I could just- oh, I feel like this looks bad flat. I wish I could just have, like, a little, like ridge around it, you know what I mean? Like, all I want is, like, a half wall around this, but it's not letting me! Okay. Oh man, I can't to make this whole thing a little tricky, but that's okay. Mm. It's gonna make building these rooms out a little, like, really weird. <laughs> but that's okay. I think that's what's gonna make it fun, hopefully. Like, I'm excited to do this interior. It's gonna be weird. Um... As far as it, out as it can go. Which is fine. This one, I want to make this into a square. Like, trying to be conscious of where my squares are, you know what I mean? Move you over here. Um... Dang, I can't bust these out at all, which is also part of the problem. I'm gonna bump this in to there. I'm gonna bump you in one... well... Yeah, I'm gonna bump it in one... Because then we can do something like this... Maybe... It's gonna be bumped in too much, I think. I can bump it in like that. Okay, that seems fine. Like, I still want to keep this, like, sort of little balcony structure we have going on here, because I do like how it looks. Um, I might bump this in one, though.
Okay. Bear with me, everyone. This is a tricky little pickle. Make sure I'm getting the inside of these. I always forget to do that. Oop. Good. All right, well, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's weird, but hopefully in a good way. Not sure if plants, brutalist per se, greenery being on those grebels, maybe. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe we can do like a green roof or something. But yeah, that would be cool. Maybe for some of these like bump outs. Yeah, we'll figure it out. That might be sort of a trickier thing to manage. I think that's better. It was just sticking out too much for me. Okay. Um... Oh, it's too far out. Okay. Hmm, how are we gonna do this one? Oh, it sucks. It's like, it's all jutting too far out. I mean, I could just leave that one flat. Which, I don't know if that'll look weird or good. I wish I could stick this out more. How come this one? Oh no, I guess it does stick out just as much as the other ones. So the thing about this that I'm not doing that my reference picture is doing is like these are all basically the same size and mine are like doop, 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 which fine maybe but i think there's something in the symmetry of having them all be the same size that maybe i should have stuck with hmm oh, the blue crab <laughs> i did finish the red lobster aka the blue crab well it is pretty cool looking i'll give it that Maybe I'll make this like an all glass wall or something because I need to, f it's like, hmm. It's like kind of driving me nuts that I'm gonna bump. Oh man. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna adjust these to make it work the way I want it to. Bump everything in a bit. Okay. Okay. I swear this is going to mirror the one below it too much. I could do something like this. Oopsie, stop that. Stop it! Okay, sure, I'm cool with that. Oopsies. Nope. Oh. Okay. Um, just trying to put this everywhere it needs to go. I still have to do the bottom floor. But that's, you know. I don't know if that's a lot or if it's working. I don't know if I liked it better as just like a big rectangular piece. People are saying make a huge difference. People like it. All right, I'll take it. Thank you. Okay, I still want it to kind of feel a little like this. And it's like, maybe a little too subtle to really be doing that properly. But that's okay. Hello? There's just one piece here that doesn't have it. Hmm. What this? No. Yeah, trim. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
You know what we could maybe do? Oh, I'm a genius. We'll see if this works. But what we could maybe do is I could probably add like walls here, keeping it that same rectangular shape as before. And then here, check this out. Let's see if this looks any good. Well, hold on. Said so that the greatest idea I've ever had are really stupid. Okay. And then I could like put windows all throughout these spots. So you can still see the kind of bump out shapes. Sorry, I know the camera angle is like really whack for this. I don't know, does that work? I don't know if that's gonna work. I might try this, hold on. So I want more of this infinite window. I want packs. This is from Eco Lifestyle. Black, please. I think this is cool. I think I'm gonna stick with this. So you can really see all the like, sort of bumpy boxes of it. I could make the bump outs balconies. That's another option. Oops, this is not what I wanted to do. Why am I using the small ones? Oops. I'll give this a try. Worst case scenario, it sucks and I don't keep it. But I just think it's maybe an interesting way to do this considering I don't know. I don't know if it really accentuates the way the bump outs work, but I think I'm kind of okay with it. I don't know. I think we could make it work anyway. Um, I'll keep trying it with the bump outs. If it sucks, I'll just undo it. I know we will have to play test it, which will be a huge pain in my butt. Okay. Okay. So this is okay. Oh god, what did I just do? Okay, I think I fixed it. <laughs> um... Bump this over one. Let's see here. So I would want it to be all like, cause like some parts will still bump out. Cause I want it to be all one square in, one square in, one square in. You know what I mean? I'm keeping the walls white for now. Just better see what I'm doing. Um, Javier Altman, thank you for subscribing, thank you for the two months. Okay. Oops, come on. I think this is cool. I like how this is coming out. I'm, I dig this. Giving me architect anxiety <laughs> in a good way. Oh, thank you, Javier Altman. I appreciate it. 
If the bomb had a bright color, it would pop more. That's a good idea. Yeah, I, well, I could also do, instead of having the bump outs be a bright color, I could have the insides of this section be a bright color, which I think will, because I want the bump outs to be the concrete, considering that's sort of the whole thing of brutalism is like, the outsides are always like real concrete. But I could have like this inside stuff, like a bright color. Like, let's see what options we have. Um, so... something. How are we supporting it and insulating all these bump outs? Look, that's for someone else to figure out, okay? It's for the engineers to figure out. I'm the architect, I'm the artist. Classic university building look. Oh, brother, that's not what I want. <laughs> I think it looks cool. Well, I don't know if we'll stick to this yellow color, but... I do like the idea of the color. I think that's already making the windows like pop more in a good way. Um, okay. So basically I want them all to like be go in one for each one. You know what I mean? It's like this bumps out one, then this one one, and then the next one. So I think that would put this one like this, I think. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. For now, again, probably won't keep that yellow necessarily, but just for the sake of seeing it. Although that's actually not right, because this is really one in, right? Although it shouldn't be. I feel like I maybe did this one wrong, because I want it to be like one square underneath, underneath it, you know? It's like this side looks good, but this side is like two back. Which is maybe fine, but it should be like one, one, and then you, one. Yeah, that seems about right. Um, okay. Okay. The wedding venue. <laughs> Universities use Brutalist a lot. My art building was that style. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think the building's cool. Yeah. I'm into it. Um, this should probably be like this. Actually, it should be... Okay. There's not necessarily like a ton of consistency between like some of these, where the way I'm doing some of the skinny windows versus the wider windows, but I'm okay with that because I think it kind of works with what we're doing. Okay. Just trying to make sure everything has this. Um. Okay, and give me this. Hmm, I actually don't think I should have that one there. Oopsies, delete. Or should I? 
I'm trying to figure out. Okay. All right. Well, kind of doing what I wanted to do. Um, this sort of bottom floor is going to have way fewer windows, which is maybe not what I want. Although it looks like I can add this. What be like this? Stop it. Hoopsies. Hoopsies! Okay. I think that's mostly done for the way we've done these bump outs. And we have that nice, like, boop, boop, boop in, which I like. I'm gonna be okay with it. It still has, like, a weird, more bumpy outiness during this part because it's not super even, but I think I'm cool with that. I think I'm cool with that. My college campus had a lot of dead birds flying straight into the windows. Fun! <laughs> um, wow. Everyone's just talking about college now, which is fun. Going to do these. Ooh. I'm protecting something. Oops. Move. 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 Objects. On. No. BB. Move. Objects. On. Great. So we'll figure out the walls inside. I also want to add, like, doors here. Um, but I do like these windows. I like the way they look with everything. I might... Mm, hmm. I'm, like, tempted to keep this... Like, boop, 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 and then the, like, this flat, and this flat. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Okay, everybody, bear with me for, well, it's gonna have to change a lot of shit if I do that. Never mind. I was, like, gonna maybe make this flat and this one flat with the sort of bump out like this and just have this one tiered, but I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. It's maybe a little wonky, a little funny, but I think it's okay. I think all in all it looks pretty cool. Um, what am I going to do about this? You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, I'm gonna do this, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to make this a half wall, and we're going to put like flowers or something in there. Half wall, half wall. Um, I don't know if I want this glass trim, but I do want a different trim. I want like a black stone. Like I want the trim that doesn't have the glass on it basically, but matches the glass. Can I have it not shift? Okay, there we go. Is that, it doesn't match, so I need to find the one that matches. Uh, wood, stone, this one, black. Okay, there we go. Perfect, it matches. And we will put like greenery in there, I think. I think that'll look cool. Okay. Um. Cool, though. I feel like we have the bones of it done. You know, it's a little tweaking here and there. I think we'll still need to happen, but I'm feeling pretty good about it so far. <laughs> okay. Um, and I still really like this glass little house building here. Um, there are more windows I want to do. This make it black. We're gonna do it like in sets of three. Oopsies. Is that too much? Maybe. Am I keeping it? You better believe it. Yeah. Uh, 
I might make this another balcony. Ooh, it's like not quite the size I want for it though. Well, actually, maybe it is. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Hold on. This half wall. Um, the only problem is I don't think these windows, they're not really the right width for this section. I could just have them have a wider thing. Cause everything else you see, it like kind of has like a half square to the side of it. Whereas this one will have more of a full square, but I like that though. It looks good. Yeah, I think this wall is maybe taller though. I think I need a taller, oh. Nope, nope, nope. Um, Let's find half wall heights, half walls. Was it this one? Was it this one? Seems more right, let's see. It has like three full, no, this one has Three full and one slightly not full, which makes me think it's this one. Perfect. Okay. All right. Cool. Just making sure I'm getting the back of this thing. Good. Um. All right. I feel like that's maybe as good as it'll get. I think it looks cool in the town square, certainly. Looks like a weird real museum, which I like. Let's try to find some good concrete flooring. Like there's this. Oh good, it actually is kind of what I want. Oh, it's so big. It's also like more brown than I feel like it looks like in the picture. I could do like bright colors for it. Like, I wish this wasn't as brown looking. I want it to be like a dark gray. Because they have this other concrete, but I like that this one has like squares, you know? I'm gonna do it for now, but I don't love it. Hello. Yeah, I don't love this. For now, it shall remain. <sighs> okay, where is more concrete? Probably wind up sticking with this one, but. Heroes flooring. Gosh, th why does none of them match the wall concrete? I don't understand it. I also, I'm really annoyed that I can't add another floor because I just want to add like a little lip there. I think it would make it look so much better. Well, let's see what we have for roofs. I'm not going to add a roof. God, I wish I could. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. I do think we might make these little greenhouse things. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Nice hat for the museum. <laughs> um, yeah. What I am going to do. Okay. I should have like grass. Yeah, here we go. <gasps> Maybe I'll do that for all of these little things. Put like succulents and shit in there. I like having these be sort of a green space. Um, like, I don't want to block the views too much for here, but also want it to look good. You can just do a bunch of these, but it's a little dull. 
Whoa. Why are you like this? Yeah, I don't want to block the view. <laughs> this is the thing. Ooh, these are- this is cool. You know, just do like really cool like topiary pieces. I think we have a bunch of these. Oh, I wish it wasn't clipping. This tree is now taller. We'll never see the bottom of it, so it shouldn't matter too much. One more big one. Here, know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have you move down here. I'm gonna have this go here. Okay. I think that's pretty evenly spaced as far as I can tell. Seems pretty good to me. I like the look of that. I think that's neat. Green roofs are big right now. I also might do more greenery up here. I mean, I can also do something like this. Let me... Boop. I could make little squares. Like, I could... I don't think they'll let me put fencing up here, which is too bad. Because I would love to put, like... Something like this, but it won't. Oh, <gasps> They will let me. <gasps> How come I can do fencing but not half walls? Well, maybe. Hmm. Let's see if it'll let me half wall. <gasps> it is! Yay! A oh, miracle on the Hudson. Okay, except they want these walls to be shorter. I want you to be shorter. I want it to be real short. Okay, perfect. Oh. Oh, I feel like that's so much better already. I think I might make it one thing taller, maybe. I feel like it needs to be a bit taller. Oh, I'm so happy that I could do that. Okay. Yeah, I think that already looks so much better. Um, let me steal you. Great! <laughs> no plants, only concrete. Trees were randomized a bit, so the exact same amount of time. Yeah, I mean, I twisted them around, which I think helps make them look a little more randomized, helps them look a little more natural. Like, these are two different tree types. It's like this one, these are the same, and then these two in the middle are the same. But I think they look okay. I'm okay with them. I think they look as natural as they're gonna get. Um, okay, and now I kind of want to do, though, So I want this... Give me, like, the concrete one. Um... Concrete. Like... You know? Something like this. Just little green spaces on the roof. Oopsies. Oh man, the size is just a little funny. How am I gonna do this and make it look not terrible? I can also have it, oops, be a little uneven. Like asymmetrical, I mean. And then have like air conditioning unit. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of cool with that. Um, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, I forgot my allergy pill today. Paying the price. The allergy price. Okay, 
I think I need to make this black. Yeah, I don't like the color of this one. Let's make it black. Come on. Why does this have like a... Hmm, I don't know why this is counting these as like separate rooms. I hate it when it does that. I guess because of how I moved it. It's annoying. Okay. Cool. Oh, shit. Okay, good. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. All right, cool. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Geese Peep. Feeling like a Tuesday? Thankful it's Thursday. Yeah, this week both went by fast. I feel like that's been every week since 2021. It's like, oh my god, this week is so long, but also it's over, you know? That's how I've been feeling, at least. <clears throat> so, I might just... It's like gonna be kind of boring if I just put a bunch of bushes in, right? Like, is this boring if I just go put these bushes in? Like, can't really even see them because of how high this thing is. Good news, though. The music stopped. My favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Why are we talking about uneven boobs? Uh, anyway, is that the whole thing? Like, they're sisters, not twins? Okay, let's see. What are we rocking here? Um... So I think this would be a good, I want to say good sunlight, because that seems like what would be going on. I'm going to do natural light. I might do hottest spot in town. I think it's fun to do that. Island spirits. Mean vibe. It should be kind of snotty. That's not exactly what the mean vibe is, but. Hmm. So we're going to see natural light and sunny. Oh, painting and photography, easier to master. Light. Yeah, let's do that. Peace and quiet. That might be nice. Might do peace and quiet. Let's do peace and quiet. Boop. All right, just poking around. We still haven't done anything on the interior. I might take a quick little break, but I'm feeling really good about how this looks. I think uh, it's really coming together. I feel good. I feel good. I think it's interesting. Um, I don't know if I should put something there. Or... Because it's just not... Treat me right the way it's the way it is currently. Might put some grass, some greenery there, probably. Maybe I'll even do... This around it. Versus like a full... Yeah, I think that looks better. Versus like a full wall. Oh, I hate that. Nope. Yeah. We'll see. We'll take it from there. But um. anyway. Anyway. Um. Yeah, I'll be right back. I hate the freaking silence of this. So I'll be back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere. See you soon. Bye-bye. It is what it is. Um, so, just to recap what happened. Um, we had one baby. Yeah, so with the Joker. Ha 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 ha. Of course. Ha 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 ha. Of course.
Hunter Baby Challenge. Great. Um, so, just to recap what happened. Um, we had one baby. Yes, it was the Joker. One baby, yes, with the Joker, ha 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 ha, of course, and then Remy is pregnant with Linguini Alfredo's baby from Ratatouille. Linguini Alfredo's baby from Ratatouille. I'm back. Sorry, was there a fun song playing? Everyone's saying the same thing in chat, which makes me think <laughs> there was a fun song playing. All right, anyway. Okay. Feeling good though. Still feeling good about this build. I still want to add more greenery into some of these little spots. I'm kind of, I don't know how to do these. Oh. Oh man, wouldn't it be kind of fun? Oh. Might be too much. Or it might be just enough. Elephant. Is there any more we can do? Might be it. Well, more cats. <laughs> no. I don't, I can't tell if that's too much or fun. Cause it kind of feels like almost an art piece up there. <laughs> Lava topiaries equal brutalism. Exactly. Um, I don't know. This feels like a kind of rooftop art art piece you'd see. You know what I mean? There was this one thing at the Whitney I saw. No joke. It was like some kind of structure. It was like on the rooftop. It was in the outdoor section. I, I this like just came back to me, and like it farted. I remember that very specifically. It farted. This is real. It farted. That's all I know. Okay. So now we have to figure out how we're going to do the interior. We need a few things. For sure. We need a bathroom. We need to figure out how to do the lights. Hmm... I'm just gonna delete the walls here. Remove wall. Perfect. <laughs> I I really want to know. Hold on. I want to see if I can find this. Okay. Whitney Art Um Sculpture Fart. Let's see if we can find it. Here it is! Oh my god, it was this. And like this part of it farted. Like, this part, it farted. No joke. Nice picture of it. Procession. Um, who are the Winnie biennial defectors and what do they want? What does that mean? Um, that's so funny. I can't believe I found it. You can see the fart steam coming out. <sighs> I don't... I don't know if I got it. 
but you can see the fart. I can't believe I found it. <laughs> uh, anyway, it farted, as you can see. It's a piece of fart work. Nice. Farting goat structure has captured my heart. <laughs> anyway. What fun we have. Learning about art. Artist sims hang their art in the museum. Can you do that? I don't know. How, how do you do that? It didn't smell. <laughs> it was just like a little bit of steam. I feel like it made a bit of noise. Kind of just like, a, oh, it's doing something. And then it was like, as like the steam let out, you know? Um, I think what I might do, honestly, is I kind of want to... I want this to always remain like... Because these we have all these bump outs and I want them to remain... Not untouched by anything else, you know? Oopsies. That looks fine to me. <sighs> Just make a sim and make them do art. Make them celebrities. I don't know how to put it in the museum, though. I don't think... Like, how do you put, like, a, a artwork a sim has made into a lot? I'll look into it. Um, I'm excited to do the interior of this place, though. Okay. Great. Just sort of fixing all where all of my bump outs made like weird little rooms. Okay, and then there's this one. I think I'm gonna bump this in a square. Maybe even more, because it's pretty far in on the other side. Yeah, I think that's better. I'll have it bump out one more, maybe? It seems a little more symmetrical with what we've got going on here. It's like kind of hard to tell. Yeah, that seems more symmetrical to me. Okay. Put it in their inventory, take it to the museum, put it on a wall. I don't think that would work. Anyway, I, that seems like I like the idea of that, but to fill up a museum proper, that would be a lot of work. Because you'd have to do it for multiple artists, which I'm not, again, I'm not against it. Um, but I, I need to look into how you would put a piece of sims made art into like a community lot um anyway still quite thrilled with how this has turned out should we make this part okay should we start doing fountain stuff i've never really fucked with fountains before but did it make like a little watery noise? I think it did. It did. It's fun. Oh Jesus, come on. Uh, I want to say there. Oh, nailed it. Oh, that's cool. I'm a big fan of that. Leaping. I like really don't know what to make of these. Do, 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 do. Let's do the large dancing one. Let's make it blue. Oh, I want to see them in action. I feel like I'm putting too many of these. <laughs> oh shit. Oh beans. This feels like a lot, right? 
Feels like a lot. Maybe too many, some might say. Hmm. Whoa! How come this one worked? I want to see what they all look like. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't realize they would change the color of the water, too. Okay, let's just keep these all silver. Or white, I guess. We're gonna move this. It feels weird to have a big jet spray. Like... Not in the middle, you know? I'm doing too many of these. I'll admit it. I know. But I don't know what they're gonna look like. Oh, I wish I could see. There is a way to go to live mode, but I have to, like, bring a sim to the lot, basically. Yes, I'm sure. I'll go back in a moment. So I'll do it, like, visit, and I'll have a sim come to the lot. Um, oh, Grandpa, no. We gotta do- why don't we have Witch and Mermaid? You can leave your cats at home, so let's go. <laughs> okay. Let me- why is it always nighttime? Are these on? Okay, these are like too tiny. You know, I don't like how small these are. I want them to be both be big. So these seem to be spraying all the time. These spray sometimes, which I'm fine with. I do like that they have lights built into them too, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Sorry, I got to hiccup up. All right. Okay, how does this look? Oops. Yes. It's kind of chaotic. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening here. I'll be the first to admit it. Um, I think I might get rid of... Again, I've never really fucked with fountains before. So I'm gonna get rid of all of this. And I'm gonna have... Just more of these. Might spray the wall a little bit, but I'm okay with that. And then... Large. How, we, how does this look? Oh, why don't they all go at the same time? Infuriating. Hopefully if I load in, it will. I'm gonna leave that. Seems fine to me. Um, whatever, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Throw a nickel in it. Okay, so we have a fountain. Why are there holiday lights on my brutalist modern building? No! It also stinks as like the weather is different now. It's not as sunny. <laughs> oh well. Anyway. Not a fan of that, but ugh. Oh, it's also fun. I, I hate- it's, it's like some things are seasonal and some aren't. So like, this is so bright green, everything else is brown as fuck. Whatever, it's not a huge deal. It's fall, technically. Holidays are brutal, it's true. Um, well, let's start doing it. So, we need an art structure no! out. <laughs> exactly. Freed racer, you get it. Thank you so much. I am going to- sorry, my nose is a little runny. I did sneeze a whole lot earlier. Um, I do want to drink from Big Larry because I haven't been, I haven't been drinking my water. Also, I know you should talk about when people follow me because I feel like people like don't like being called out for it. But 420 Queen 69 followed me seven minutes ago. Flattered. <laughs> Love your username. Claritin's at home, unfortunately. Uh, 
Alrighty, just redeemed my own hydration check. Okay. <clears throat> Tiny scared twink also followed me. <laughs> Sorry to keep calling you out by name, but just really good usernames coming up the queue. Like the brand I've cultivated for myself. I need to figure out some good doors for this section. That's what I want to do next. Honestly, the rainy vibes are kind of suiting this building. Nasal spray. Oh, 420 Queen! They've shown themselves. Hello! <laughs> um, let's see. I want a big, tall door. This is boring as hell, but... Does get the job done. So that's... I might do this. It's an option. There's probably mid doors that might be better. Hmm. No. Not necessarily. Huh. What do I do for this one? This is a quite the door. But I'm not against it. I kind of I think I'm okay with these doors. I think they're okay. You can call mine out. <laughs> Okay, the real JMAC0991. <sighs> Stocked up on Reestine? Re Rectine? Don't know what that is. Rectine. <sighs> I am really very happy with this, how this is turning out. Not to keep. I, this always happens anytime I do a build ever, where I'm like, oh, how does it. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Whatever. Da, 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 da. And then I do it and I'm like, wow, look what we've made. <laughs> um, I'm also. So this is gonna. You can see it's kind of like not really agreeing with the ceiling because I'm going above where the walls actually are, but I like the balance of this a lot better. I think it looks so much better, so I'm going to keep it anyway. That's fine. <sighs> Reactin, not rectine. That makes sense. Mm. Canadian Claritin. That makes sense. Oh, I'm so happy with how this is turning out, though. Truly, truly. I think it's really coming, coming along. Okay, so we have to figure out how we're going to do this. So this is going to be main reception area. We need benches. We need a, a desk. We need maybe a gift shop. This is maybe like a bathroom, coat check, stairs up to the next floor. Finally getting into the exhibits. Um, so exhibits and then up here more and then maybe like the little theater rooms might be fun in some of these spaces. Just a thought. Um, yeah. And then just more exhibits. Okay, we'll figure it out. So requirements, a bar, bar stools, easel. Should be easy enough. I might do a bar here. I wanna have like outdoor stuff. Oh, this will probably be a good area for like the cafe. Sorry, I keep like hiccuping. <sighs> Bathroom on the first floor. Yeah, we might do a few bathrooms, but definitely on the first floor. Kids painting crafting area. That's a good idea. But I feel like I want a rooftop bar that still has like outdoor structures and whatnot. Mural? Oh, interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna just put it here. I don't think this is how they want the mural to go. What's also a little annoying is like, we're putting in a mural spot, right? Put in a couple even. I mean, I could have my Sims paint this, but I don't think they really have much painting skill. Why don't you paint political mural? You. Paint cultural mural. Can't do the city mural? Okay, I want to give them like good painting skill. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm going to do? People want an artist. Let's make an artist. We'll incorporate them into the world later. Um, Saving go to manage worlds. We're making an artist. They're going to come back and visit and they're going to paint these murals. I might be able to do it if I have them visit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I'm going to give them a skill of 10. And we're going to see as many paintings as we can do. We're going to try it. Five dollars? 
Hot button issues in The Sims? Oh, with the cultural murals. Great question. Okay, we are making a sim now. We are making a sim. They're gonna be a starving artist. Create new household. Hey. I will I'm need to do stairs, you. yes. Um, so, artist. Clarence? Great. Starling? <laughs> Clarence? No, let's do Cla... How do you spell Clarice? Clarice? C-L-A-R-I-C-E. C-L-A... R... Clarice... Starling. Sure, why not? No, we can't do Starling <laughs> for her last name. Okay. Clarice Beatty? It's a fun name. Or we can do like... Let's do Keen. Like, uh, who was that Big Eyes artist? I'm pretty sure it's like Margaret Keen, right? So it's just kind of fun to go with, uh, let's do, yeah, Margaret Keen. Cool. It's a good movie, by the way. Big Eyes. Interesting story. Margaret Keen, yes. Clarice Keen. Okay. So we want you clearly creativity. Painter extraordinaire. I want you to be creative. Uh, I want you to huh. be self-assured. And maybe a maker. Just it's kind of a boring not. one, but. Uh -huh. Erratic's kind of fun for an artist. I'm gonna do erratic. I never make erratic sims. <laughs> Whoa. Maybe instead of self-assured, I'll do maker. Cause I, maybe I can have her make structures too. We're gonna have dark hair. Let's do the preset faces first. Faces. Let's do, start with this one. Honestly, she's great. I kind of even love this hair, but let's get, I want a short look for her. I want like an artistic cut. Maybe we'll do even a shaved head. That's always fun for an artist, right? Um. Ice cream hair. It's honestly pretty cute though. Don't hate it. Okay. Hmm. Maybe that one, that's pretty cute. We could just do a shaved head. Maybe I'll just give her a shaved head. Which I think is pretty cool for an artist to have. Should she have... I'm going to give her glasses. I want her to have thicker eyebrows. I want her to have nice full brows. Okay. Um, I want to give her glasses. <laughs> um, glasses, please. Should I make her older? People are suggesting Yoko Ono, which is why I'm like, maybe she'd be fun older. I feel like we always make young Sims. Granted, Razo Steel, thank you for the gift subs. I appreciate it. I hope Viper, DKM, and Kawaiji enjoy them. <laughs> All the hair on the eyebrows. Honestly, when I gave her darker eyebrows, she started looking more like Bjork. <laughs> um, I want her to have these glasses. These feel like the true artist's glasses. Let's do blue. No, let's actually keep the gold. I might make her... Let's make her an adult, not a full... Um, I think I might give her earrings. I feel like dangly earrings I can see. I don't know. They kind of clash with the glasses, though. I mean, is that an artist or what? We could make a Marina Abramovich type of character. I feel like I said her last name wrong. Abramovic. I say I dig these. Lips are closed. We could make her old. Let's make her old but cool, you know? Nix Kubeba. I don't want her to be all slouchy. Let's see the body types. 
bodies. I want her to be very, like, straight. Like, no curves at all, you know? No, I want to do the waist. Or not the waist, the hips. I don't know, she kind of- I can't tell if she has like an unnatural <laughs> body type now or if that's just fine. Alright, we'll just leave it like that. I'm not good with bodies. I always feel weird adjusting the body types. Okay. I want her to have like really cool, like chic, maybe a little laid back style, but very chic, you know. Like I kind of like bohemian chic, sort of where I'm at. I also might make, instead of maker, Kind of wanted to be like a serial romantic. No, we'll do maker. Cause I kind of feel like her vibe is like bisexual, lots of lovers, no time to settle down, no time for feelings. That's a, that's where I'm seeing her. Um, <laughs> scarves is a good idea. I want, yeah, let's get rid of feminine. Everything. Okay. It's too on the nose, but I don't hate it. I don't, I wish, they always make all the like elderly sims like slouchy as fuck and I really hate it. Um, <laughs> sims 4 had more layering options. Yeah, me too. <gasps> okay, how do I ignore gameplay Game play unlocks entitlement. Oh, I hate this. How to unlock knitting Sims 4 outfits. What's the thing? What's the cheat? Oh, what? Cheat to unlock all knitted clothing. Here we go. Um... Sure you do not include the full stop on the cheat. Yada yada yada. Okay, testing cheats on. Sure, sure, sure. Testing Watch. cheats on. Testing cheats. Oh. They did it, period, on. Huh. Help. Huh. Testing cheats true. Why do all the websites have, like, different answers? Testing yeah. cheats enabled. Yeah. Testing cheats true. Uh. Testing wow. cheats true what i don't understand what i'm doing wrong uh, <sighs> um this is like a weird i don't understand there was like one knitting thing but i might have to be live mode to do that cheat yeah that would make sense i'm just gonna because there was like one sweater that i was like this like this one it just has a scarf Ow. on it i wanted to see what it looked like but we can go better we can do better Okay, I mean, this is a look. She looks a little like a Johnny Depp impersonator. But I don't hate it. <laughs> I wish it was all black. I don't hate it, though. I really don't hate it. I think this is kind of really fucking cool, and I would never wear this outfit otherwise. Like, this is the only sim I'm ever going to make that's ever going to have this outfit. You know what I mean? I do like the button fly jeans. It's like doing some weird stuff to her crotch, but I think it's just because of how I adjusted her body type. <laughs> Here's another one, sort of marching band look. I think I'm gonna go with this. This is, yeah, unlock by tag. Thank you, I'll try that. That's what I looked up. Oh God, okay, it worked. Thank you, Freed Racer. There was the one knitting sweater. Honestly though, I kind of love this one. Um, and I like the button fly jeans, we'll make it better. But where was that sweater I saw? I just want to see it. There's like a sweater with a scarf. I think at this point we have our look. But. I've unlocked it. Might as well see. Okay, I want her to be, yeah, very androgynous. Very chic. Very her own look, you know? No one else will be dressed like her. That's why we like it. Okay. 
Um... <laughs> what is this? I can't find the freaking knitting stuff anymore. Do they have sweaters? Sweater sweaters. Let's see. I could search by knitting nifting stuff, but that would be too easy. There's one. Not the one I was looking for. This. Which is fine. Um, okay, let's check out these jeans. I honestly like the ones that they have given us as a default. Where are they? I hate- sometimes you click it and it's like, there's your thing exactly. I also really love these pants. I want them for me. I really want a good pair of plaid pants. Don't know where to find them. No. Wish I knew where these pants were. I want the button fly jeans. Jeans? Jeans. Oh, there we go. Let's just do black. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, she needs some, like, boots. I want those boots... These are not terrible, but I want boots that are, like, open and, like... You know what I mean? They're, like, not really tied up all the way. Cowboy boots is a pretty cool look, too, though. I don't think they have the kind of boots I'm gonna want. Let's check out masculine. Might ooh, might have what I'm looking for. You know what I'm talking about? Those kind of boots that you see people wearing, where it's like you didn't really tie these up. These are like almost it, but too preppy still. Probably just what I'm going with these. All right. Well, I know this, this gray was so much fun. Uh, plaid pants from Hot Topic. Not a bad idea. I love this look for her. Uh, Yifta May, indeed. Oh, We're gonna cheat her so many cool fucking Maybe. skills. She's gonna have every kind of art skill imaginable. She's gonna have a ton of fucking money. She's gonna live in like a yeah. weird lot in the town. She is hot. She's cool as hell. Wow. We're gonna have her intertwined in a bunch of fun relationships. Some might be affairs. I don't know. <laughs> Seems fun to me. Okay, let's give her... I want her to have... Um... Oh, hell yeah, dude. Sometimes she wears sunglasses. This is not the right shirt for her. I want that. Now, I feel like, why does everything look weird on the grandmas? Like, I know she's a senior, but she can still look cool, okay? Rogaba. Uh, um, I feel like what I want is I want like a button up shirt with like an open collar. Like, I want, like, the jacket and the shirt, but, like, a bit of an open collar. Because I like the last one had, like, a bunch of open shit for her. And I don't hate it. Um. It's, like, pretty masculine. Oh, here we go. Maybe. It's, like, not exactly the vibe I was originally thinking of, but I really don't hate it. It's also a fun look. Yeah, well, let's go with that. Sure. Um, she just needs like slacks, pants. I feel like these, this jacket is always hard to find pants for, I think. Cropped? I feel like this is the one that's like designed for it. Sure, it's fine. Should we give her boots again? I'm kind of down for her always wearing these boots. I'm- I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it. She looks cool. Um, we should give her earrings again. Maybe a big necklace? Cause she has that big open thing. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that one. And then... Earrings... Uh, Enizuk? Works for me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what is yeah. this look? They really went all in on the accessories for this randomized outfit. Okay. Glasses again. Um, I think I'm going to go with the dark sunglasses. Well, not dark, but the sunglasses. It's kind of fun for a full athletic look. I love the throwback outfits. Like, this is my favorite huh? thing in the whole wide world. I want to wear this for me. Honestly, I gave it to Jane. 
the other daughter, but I think we can make it work for her. Honestly, I'm into that. Maybe, I feel like she's not really a high socks kind of gal, but maybe some like high socks with this look. Oh God, that's not what I meant. No, it's not right. Ooh. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> exactly. Shaved head grandma, I know. Honestly, very cool. Maybe when I'm a grandma, I'll shave my head all the time. Although, I've talked about this before. I feel like this is especially happen when you're a grandma. When I shaved my head in high school, I feel like sometimes people thought I was, like, sick. And I feel like <laughs> if... I were already old, it would be... People would really be like, oh my god, what's going on? Um... Sure. Yeah. I don't think this lady's gonna work out a lot, let's be real. <laughs> um, I don't hate these pants. Let's give her these slippers. Or we could have her have, like... I'm rewatching Killing Eve again. I, like, watch it for the first time in quarantine. We're going back to it. But she always has, like, the coolest sleep sets. This game doesn't really have them. It'd be kind of cool for Grandma to have it, but... Oh, blue gem. oh, I kind of love these little knitted shorts. Okay, her butt is maybe a little too flat. I'll admit it. Nail uh, Shaba. Sure, let's give her a different shirt though. The shirt ain't right. Um. Hmm. I don't hate that. I don't know if it goes with these slippers now that I see them though. Sure. <laughs> grandma with the drop crotch pants. I mean, honestly. Yeah, I guess for a grandma, these are maybe kind of a wild choice in shorts. Do they have drop? They def I feel like they do have drop cr crotch pants. Honestly, though, this look kind of down with that. Yeah, let's do that one. She still needs her glasses because she's old. Um, boom. Maybe now she will have a hat on because she's asleeping. I want like a beanie. I want. No, I feel like these are all. Ooh. What if she just slept in this? <laughs> this is kind of incredible. Oh man. Okay. No. I feel like I want to give her. I didn't really adjust her eyes at all. I kind of want to give her a. Uh... Like, really light-colored eyes or something. Something sort of unusual, but interesting. How do I get to her eyeballs? Here we go. Like a pale green. Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, back to her clothes. Okay, party look. Definitely not this. Ooh, I do kind of love something like this. Okay. This is from the Snowy Escape. Let's see what we have for Snowy Escape. Packs. Snowy Escape. I kind of like something like this for a party look. Give her the boots. Where are the boots? Why is the crotch doing this to her? I don't understand what I've done to her body to make the crotch do this. <laughs> right? Hello, Isabella 19XX. Uh, anyway, she needs her glasses back. Yeah, she needs earrings. fuck with that. Maybe this, something simple. 
And then glasses. Ah, oh, this girl's, she's so fucking cool, dude. Kidding me? Okay, bathing suit. Kind of went like a full, like, <sighs> so stupid. Um, kind of love that. Maybe I'll do the green for the yellow. I kind of like that, like, she goes surfing. You know what I mean? Let's give her the sunglasses again. I want to give her sunglasses and the, like, stuff on her nose. Oh, she's so cool. Can't get over how cool this lady is. Yes. Into it. Alright, great. Okay. Wait, hold on. We skipped hot weather. Must fix this. Um. Tempted to give her a cowboy hat. To block out the sun. Ooh, I'm really tempted to give her a cowboy hat. Let's make it white. She might not keep the cowboy hat, but it's fun. So funny, you can see which one is the one, like, the masculine versus feminine one, based on how it fits. <laughs> um, ooh. There's also this one, which is, like, a choice. Like, we can have her have the open, <laughs> open top. I'm kind of into. It's also this one. I kind of. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna go with that for right now. Honestly, I don't hate these pants either. Oh, I need to get a snowy escape. I was like, why is that the only option? It's kind of a lot for Grandma, but fun. What am I doing? She looks great. She looks great. Look, she's an artist. They have their shirts off all the time. We might not keep the open shirt. But there's something pretty fun about it. <laughs> uh, <sighs> uh, <laughs> All right. I kind of like it. It's like she's pushing those boundaries. There's also okay. I do kind of want to keep these pants. I kind of like them. I like the yellow, or maybe we'll do black. No, I'll do the yellow ones. They're like athletic, they're weird. Boots? I don't think we're gonna have hot weather boots. And Fobby. Indeed. Griffoba. Or what if we do the sandals? There's like a sandal, these. I kind of love that. Ugh, why? Why do they have to make all the old people like that? I get it, but it doesn't suit this. Okay, let's get some glasses going. You know what, I'm sticking to the, uh... look, I'm sticking to the look we've got going. Okay, glasses, where are they? Glasses. Um, sunglasses, earrings, I want the short ones. The small ones, I guess, yeah, these. I think what I might do. Okay, if we're really going cool grandma with the shaved head. This is like all the look right now. Is to like dye it like a pale pink. How do I do? Okay. Don't match hair. I want her to have black eyebrows. This might be a little too trendy, but it's pretty cool to do. Or we could just like fully bleach it. Come on. It should stay with all of her looks. Great. And I feel like my goal with this grandma, because sometimes you see older people trying to dress young and it uh, is Andrew? like, okay, you're not 24, no. you know? And it's like, whatever, yeah. dress the way you want. No judgment. But I also want her to have like a timeless style. That's like, yeah, she's, you know, 65, but she's still sexy. She's still cool. And she's not, like, just trying to be trendy. You know what I mean? That was my goal with her. Okay. Kind of dig this. Okay, different 
different pants. And we need her, her boots back. Boom. I don't hate it. Honestly. I might give her a little beanie because it's cold out. Oops, no. I want the red ones. <laughs> exactly. Look. This is a cool grandma. That's why we like her. She's different, very different from the grandma we made before. I don't know why I'm only making senior citizens lately. Should this have... Oh, I kind of hate this hat, but I feel like if anybody can pull it off, she looks a little <laughs> crazy with this hat. I kind of love it, though. <laughs> this is too much. Oh, it's kind of terrible, but I kind of love it. Or I can just give her a Santa hat. She's got a sense of humor. I kind of love that. <laughs> Uh, I know it's not the beanie with the pom-pom, but I kind of love it. Honestly, this grandma's cool as fuck. Clarice Keen, I love you. I love her. <gasps> Should we give her a dog? Like, she's got like a big-ass Weimariner or something, you know? I want her to have... Let's check out the breeds. Ozzy. We had an Australian Shepherd growing up. She was great. Really sweet dog. Very smart. Oh! Kind of a good one for her. Could also give her one of these dogs with a weird nose. Like, that kind of suits her whole look. Yeah, we're gonna need to build her house. I know we've sort of really taken a turn, <laughs> but now I'm excited about this one. I'm glad we've discovered this. That's like the beauty of this Renovate Everything series, is I feel like you do all these twists and turns and like really discover shit. In a way I really like. Maybe I'll give her a Dalmatian. Which is kind of fun, because Dalmatians are not particularly friendly dogs. I think they are very loyal, from what I understand. Okay, to also do this. This kind of reminds me of, like, Gronk from, uh... Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I kind of want one of those dogs with, like, a weird nose. <gasps> do they have... Oh, what's that breed called? The breed that... Everything is, like, really long and skinny in, like, a weird way. You know what I'm talking about? God, what are they called? Borzoi, yes. B O R Z O I. Let's see if they have them. Oh, they do. This does not do justice to how long and weird this dog is. I am going to show you all Borzoi. This dog is so long and weird. They got the biggest, longest faces in the whole wide world. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. Look at this. I think I follow this dog on Instagram. Like, come on. I wanted to have a bo Borzoi. Yes. Yes. They are like unicorns. Okay. Oh, it actually, from the side, they, they got it going on. Okay, no. I want to, can I, like, let's just crank out this nose. What do we say? Oh, there we go. Oh, and it has, like, the weird barrel chest. Okay, good. Put a bird's head on that dog. <laughs> okay. I want... I kind of wish the coloring... Oh, can I, like... Color pattern... If I just... <gasps> That's cool! I love that you can just take a coloring and it'll just slap it on whatever breed you got going on. I kind of like this one for it. Like, I kind of want her dog to have, like... Oh, maybe this is perfect. I'm kind of rock and roll on that one. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Maybe I'll stick with this. Okay. I like the pink nose. Into it. Digging it. Pet clothing. Spiked collar. Let's party. Pink spiked collar. I love this dog. I love this woman. Okay, hairy dog. Yes. I don't really know the... I'm gonna make it stubborn. I don't really know the personalities of Borzoi. I've never met one. I'm gonna make it stubborn. I'm gonna make it Ooh, I'm gonna make it jumpy, and instead of stubborn, I'm gonna make it friendly. Although that kind of goes against jumpy, so maybe I will make it stubborn. Or, yeah, I'm gonna make it friendly and stubborn. I love them! She's so cool! I have a whole folder with Borzoi images on my computer. <laughs> That's amazing. Smaller nose end. That's a good call. Let's see. Detail edit mode, maybe? 
Hmm. Don't really know how to... Admittedly, when I make pets in The Sims, I'm just like, pre-made pet, good to go. All right, that seems pretty good. My dog is jumpy and friendly. Okay, great. Perfect. Jumpy, friendly, hairy. Oh, we gotta name this dog. I also forget, uh, boy dog's good. Hello, my name is. What if she names it, hmm. Like she would name it after like, like a, like a political prisoner or something. You know what I mean? Or like a, a canal. <sighs> What's a good pull for a dog name is fun. I gotta think of some. <laughs> um, like it's gotta be ooh Gustav is fun. Evergreen, Jane Fond. <laughs> That's pretty good. I just want something like more mm, ever given. Interesting. What should this dog? I like Gustav. So far, that's winning. Okay, I want to search Russian political prisoners. This is maybe a dark <laughs> line of thinking. Um. Okay. Oh, what are the you know the who, who are the women in Pussy Riot? Let's see. Maybe that's a fun thing to do. Okay. Let's see. Um, two of the group's members, Nadiz Nadizda. Ooh, this is these are hard names for me to say. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna show it to you. We have Nadizda Nadizda Tolokonokova. Uh Maria. Uh hmm. Alright, I gotta look into this later. Ah, <sighs> maybe this is not the right one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Geese Peep suggests suggests Ami Dio Modi Gallini. An Italian artist who painted, painted people with long faces, which is pretty fun. Amy, Amadio. Oh, I see, I see. Yes. Quite long faces. Sure. I'll do this. That's fun. All right. Why not? Okay. Nadia was her nickname. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, God. The chat's moving. I gotta copy and paste this fast. Okay. Okay. Amadio Modigliani. Gugliani. Amadio Modigliani. And a nice anarchist. Great. Degas? D-E-G-A-S? That's an artist. Edgar Degas. Oh, he painted all the ballerinas. Edgar's also a fun name for this dog. All right. We're gonna stick with this name. I'm not very good at pronouncing. For Amadio Modigliani. Ami Amadio Mogadigliani. Nailed it. Italian Jewish painter and sculptor who worked mainly in France. He is known for portraits and nudes in a modern style characterized by a surreal elongation of faces, necks, and figures that were not received well during his lifetime, but later became much sought after. Great. Love it. Let's do it. Little art lesson for everyone. Amadeo. Oh, I'm saying it totally wrong. Amadeo Modigliani. Amadeo Modigliani. Great. Oh, Sacco and uh, Vanzetti were anarchists. Well, either way, this is fun. My mom's dog's name is Edgar. Nice. Amadeo. Amadeo Modigliani. Nailed it, and we have Clarice Keen. All right, honestly, feeling good about this little artist family. <sighs> yes, Keen. Why does she look so sad? Why did the. I know that we made her an elder, so she's got to be a little bit slouchy, but I wish she wasn't. So I feel like I'm trying to decide. So this is where the Spice Girls live. Like, I want her to live in the city. But the Spice Girls have, like, the one lot that's, like, actually not an apartment building. 
I do kind of want her to live in an apartment. Oh, is this a thing I can build? And we haven't adjusted the apartments yet at all, so. So there's a fashion district, uptown. She wouldn't live uptown. Arts quarter. These are bigger houses. So let me see. Oh, there's also these. I feel like I've never looked at these houses before. Okay, this is the spice market. Oh, I have. So Culpepper. I, yeah, I guess I'm just going to give her an apartment. Um, She's going to be rich. She's like a famous to-do artist. So I feel like these are not the right apartments for her. We could have her live in the arts quarter. Oh, this is a cool looking apartment. People already live there. Fair enough. Historical. That's fun. Okay, we got somebody lives there. Gnomes. Quiet and spooky. Hmm. Fun. Um, penthouse. Maybe this. Let's build here. Let's see if this is right for her. Chic apartment. Childless. Yeah, I feel like she'd have a niece or something. Penthouse suits her. I agree. Well said. Not to keep going back to Bjork, but she lived in a penthouse in Brooklyn. And I feel like it's a similar vibe we've got going on. Oh, this is so cool. I haven't seen the inside of this, but I'm already into this look. Um, okay, let's make it daytime. Oh, this is so cool. I mean, right now it's a big empty space, but it's like a loft, which is perfect. You got gardening. Oh, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Um, I'm going to move her in as is and then update it and change it. This is interesting. I might make a bigger window. We'll have to figure it out as we get in here. Oh, I've never used this before. This is cool, though. I really like to look at this lot. I'll probably keep the kitchen the same. I like the kitchen. I love this big window. Um, I'll probably change the fridge. And but honestly, this is great. Perfect. OK, she's we're moving her in. Manage worlds. I know she's a little close to the museum, which fine, maybe a little on the nose, but I feel like she would live in like this kind of neighborhood. You know what I mean? OK, where are you, Grandma? Other uh, households move in. OK, we're going to have to cheat all of her skills in. OK, ready? Free real estate. Dang it. Free real estate on. Oh, I did it. Thank God. Two tries. Furnished. Great. I love this for her, too. Very excited. Very excited. Okay. Um, Moving her in. Let's... Well, I'll just do it. Okay, we need to make sure... I always forget to add pet stuff, so we got to make sure we add stuff for the dog. Um, I do love this kitchen. I know. This is, like, my ideal kind of house of, like, big loft, a lot of windows, urban. Oh, God. But you still have like outdoor patio space. Big fan. So she's gonna be rich. So let's just mother load her right up. Just to get started. Um where is she? Oh, she's hanging out here with the dog. I don't is this Oh, she's in her cold weather outfit with a hat. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, anyway. Um okay, so this is an area I can adjust. I honestly love the green. I'm like into it as is. I'm excited to find her lovers. Um, let's get a different refrigerator. I feel like she's gonna have a high-tech one. I'm gonna put this here for now. Um, I wanna change, why? Oh, okay, I thought it was like moving into the floor. I don't like this door. I want a different door for her. I want her to have like interesting doors. These doors are pretty cool. They're like a little art deco. I feel like I need like an older warehousey door, but also, it's cool, so maybe who cares? Just a thought. Um, actually, yeah, I kind of blow that door. Okay, great. And then the rest is fine. Wow. Great. I know, I like the green. Wish we could put mirrors on the ceiling. Yes. Giant horse sculpture. <laughs> Do they have that? Horse. Let's see. Let's do decoration see because i do like the idea of her having like here is like a huge honking sculpture in the middle of her house because like realistically like she would have this like this is from like an artist friend she knows or something 
Oh, I kind of love that already. Oh, I'm into that. Like, this is like a $20,000 piece of art or something. You know what I mean? I know the walls are very tall, but I think in this instance will work in our favor. I also love the ceiling. I love these skylights. Everything is like Gucci. I'm a fun teen when I say that. Um, yeah, feeling pretty good. Okay. Back to business. So again, let's make it daytime. So right now she has a bed. I don't know if I love this bed for her. I don't hate it, but I want to see what our options are. You know, actually, I think this might be the best bet. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with this one. I want... Yeah, let's do all white. Um, so she's going to need, like, crafting benches. Penthouse required items. Oh, okay, this makes sense. But she's going to need, like, crafting benches. She doesn't have a trash can in here, which is, like, not the biggest deal in the world. I want to say this is a garbage chute. Yeah but it won't solve the problem of like day-to-day -day trash. So let's search garbage. Garbage. Um, yeah, she would have this and we're gonna put it right here. Perfect. Um, okay, I'm gonna bump this all over one, I think. Cause I kind of like this sort of like open bathtub. I think what I want is we are going to just fully get rid of this. She's going to have a giant light in the bathroom and I'm cool with that. Or a giant window, I guess I mean. Yes. Hunter, thank you for the gift sub to General Jackass. Much appreciated. I might do, I like this tub, but I feel like there may be better ones for like standalone tubs. Like I think even this is maybe better. I also don't know if there's enough room in this bathroom for how this tub is organized. You know what I mean? Like, I just think it's sort of close quarters. It's also driving me nuts that it's not centered with the window. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Timeless luxury. This is also a cool modern tub. It's also like, I feel like their head goes here and feet goes here, I think. Which doesn't super make sense with it, but... I'm gonna go with also the lighter color to have the brown match. Um, I'm mostly cool with how this looks. I want this to be against the wall, though. <laughs> um, I feel like she needs like a big art piece here. I also have never used this paint before i love this the sort of like half painted brick i feel like the space wants one of the corner tubs i know but the thing that's just so big and i feel like with a quarter tub it just is not it like needs to go in a corner which i don't necessarily want to do i think i'm going to just keep it like as is i'm going to put like a big art piece here let's see decorations See what our options are. Okay, go back up. I want... So we'll start with wall paintings. And then maybe I'll look at this wall sculptures. Um... Why don't we... Oops. I want ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. Ignore gameplay play unlock entitlements and you know unlocks entitlement. oh what is it i always forget that one ignore gameplay okay hold on there we go boop copying and pasting oopsies oh i didn't okay bb Testing cheats true. Testing cheats true. Okay. Okay, great. Did it. Um, back to business. So I kind of like the idea. I saw one in like this is cool, but not necessarily what I want. But there's one that like this is always a fun one. 
Um, I kind of like the idea of her having, like, old... I love this art for her, though. I kind of like the idea of her having, like, old, um, what's it called? Like, advertisements in there. Like, there was one I saw in the cheat. It's all rearranged now, because it's, like, actually done by Price. Um, that I think would be really cool for her. Maybe. We'll see. But I like the idea, oops, of her having, like, old advertisements. Where was it? No. Um. Whoa. I love this cake is no lie. That's pretty good. Where was it? Whoa. I'll find it eventually, I swear. Okay, we'll go back up here. Not these. No. No. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, it's so weird. I kind of love it, though. Like, I feel like this is not really what this is, but I kind of like the idea of this feeling like, you know those, like, North Korean, like, propaganda posters? Like, I love the idea, like, she got one smuggled out. It's like, look how they're honestly really cool. I mean, they're, North Korea sucks for a lot of reasons. A lot of big issues with North Korea, but these are, like, Cool as shit posters. And I like the idea that she was able to like smuggle some out and put them into her home. Like, wouldn't this be cool over her bathroom? Or something like this? Like, it's, yeah. Uh, giant painting and breakfast food is always good. But this, this, I feel like this has like the same feel to it, you know? Great conversation piece, exactly. So that's what I'm going to say this is. That's my head cannon for it. It's not exactly this, but... Um, I also like the giant painting of breakfast. I've used that in a lot of my builds. <laughs> in, like, bedrooms, random houses. I might... So I like the green, but I might switch it to... Um, I might do, like, a white or a gray... I kind of like the green for out there and then like a gray for in here. I don't know. Is that wild? I feel like that's not the right kind of gray. Hmm. I just want to test out some of these colors. Okay. We'll keep the bathroom green, I think. Um, I can also just do white. Do they have white? They must. Where's white? Um. Hmm. Sad clown. <laughs> yeah, I might have to do the sad clown. Put murals on the wall's floor. Yeah, that's also true. And I think that would be pretty cool. Um, I wanted to have a bunch of artist friends, so we might have to wind up making those, which I think is fun. I like this new branch we're going with the like playable sims we're making. I wanted to have like weirdo artist friends. I wanted to have a bunch of fuck buddies, for lack of a better word. <laughs> um, casual relationships, I guess one could say. I want, this is kind of nice, a sort of deep, sort of plum color I kind of like. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm way into this one. Let's see, is there a better color for this? Nope. Well, I think I'm just gonna do black. Versus just like gray. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this here. I do like it though. I just kind of like how bold the colors are on it mostly. Okay. It's my fake propaganda. Um hello, Bolo Ludens. Renovation's going well. We've moved on from the 
you can see the museum there. We've basically finished the outside. We have to do the inside. We're currently creating an artist who will then go to this lot and make it look good. See our romantic trait. Yes. How do you add traits to Sims? We also, okay, so we're jumping ahead of ourselves a little bit here. Oh, she's so fucking cool looking. Even with this dumbass hat, she looks cool as shit. Okay, so Sims for how to add traits. Um, serial relationships. Okay. Trait. Let's see. Dog lover's fun. Trait. How, is all the serial, how do you do the serial relationships? Because, like, these traits are more reward store traits. Maybe this is what I want. Hmm. Via the aspiration, but you can cheat that. Okay. Aspiration rewards. Okay, here we go. So we have trait, epic poet, club president, chronicler, appraiser, hero of Strangerville, hilarious... Influential individual. Oh, that's for eco lifestyle. Not really the same thing. In the know, city native. Ooh, I'm going to give her this one. Let's see. Is she is it working? Mm, I don't think so. How do you do this? Do I need to like traits equip? Okay, important. How do you do it? They, so they give me like two different commands for it. Oh, I see. So I need to do traits equip underscore trait. I don't know why they would type it like that. Oh, in the no. I love this. I like that she's like a local around town. You know what I mean? Um, Master maker. Maybe. Perfect host, piper player. Oh, here we go. This is what I want. Traits equip. No. Yeah. Underscore. Trait. That didn't work. What was it? E Traits dot equip. Underscore trait. Okay, well. Traits dot equip. Underscore. Player. Hmm. What am I doing wrong with this one? It says it's a serial romantic. I will start working on a museum in May. Oh, exciting. That's fun. Um. <laughs> okay, let's not ask anybody for free codes or anything. Let's not harass people, please. Um. Okay. Okay. I want, how do I get this freaking player, serial romantic? Mm. Traits, equip, underscore. Oops, I did a space. Uh, well, I'll look into that later. Let's keep building. <laughs> Maybe look up player trait. I did look up the player trait. I don't know what you mean. Okay. Trait underscore player. I did that one. That's what I was doing. It wasn't working. Trait underscore player. It was also because it's like traits dot equip. This is what I've learned. Underscore and then you do add a space. That's how I got it for the other one. Oh well, I'll look for it later. That's okay. That's okay. We can also eventually. Ooh, I wonder if I can do it for the dog. So. Cheat, give Quirk Fear TV. Oh, that's so fun. I don't know if I'm going to give her a TV, but it is quite fun. Um, we can also cheat her, oh, public image, yeah. Add, increase celebrity level. Public image. Like, we gotta. Public image. I want her to be like a proper celebrity. All right. We'll start there. I also fear TV. Aspirations complete current milestone. Oh, that's an interesting one. Okay. So that's if I... So I would have to change her aspiration to 
serial romantic, which I could maybe do. Let's try this. Let's see if this works. You're romantic. Okay, thank you. This is a nice... Just cheating our way to the top. <laughs> Aspiration completed. Okay, back to the uh, art one. Where is it? Creative? Creativity. Painter extraordinaire. Great. Good work, team. Thank you. Um, so now she should have it. Oh, yeah. Player! I love this, which is great, because she knows literally no one. <laughs> okay, great. Let's go back to building, though. Okay, oopsies. All right. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this sort of metal around the edges. I don't know if I love that. I also hate... This patio furniture. I need it to be more modern. I don't like it. Oh, this is interesting how they did this. How did they do that? Oh, I guess because it's like part of the building that's not really that, or maybe it's a trim? No. That's interesting. I hate this patio furniture. Why? Everything is so modern and cool. Yeah, I want to get rid of that. Sorry. I either want to get rid of it or have it all be that. You know what I mean? We can also do a painted patio. But I do kind of like the look of this sort of, like, exposed wood. Um, let's get some outdoor furniture. Nope. Sell. Sell. Um, comfort. We also have about a half hour before I get ready. Well, I'm just going to continue. Ooh, a hot tub is fun. That's a good idea. Where are you going to put her art studio? I don't know, I kind of feel like the, just, it's like a big open space. I feel like she would just have like art shit out, you know? This is also a cool spot for it, but I also like the idea of this being, it's like an interesting thing that's been done with this sort of wood, but sorry, it's going away. Um, but I, this is maybe a cool spot for it, like with a bunch of plants would be pretty neat. I also just feel like it would just be out with everything, you know? Um, a hot tub is a hot, tub hot tub hot tub is a very good idea um let's see plumbing oh yeah it's here uh we can do the sims anniversary one i feel like that's not really sleek enough for her okay let's get a good one to match i feel like having the like sort of brown wood kind of goes with everything i'll stick with that for now that's fine um, throw an incredible party. That would be pretty fun. <laughs> um, I do want... Let's do outdoor furniture. Outdoor comfort furniture. Which would be... This is pretty cool. I might do this. I kind of love this for her. Yeah. I love that. Okay, great. Um... Perfect. Okay, and then I want, like, I want, like, outdoor couches, basically. Give me comfort, love seats. I mean, we can do more of this. It'll match this one. And I do think it's, like, modern and sleek in a way that I think works. Um, maybe... I don't know how to place it, though. Um, there was the other one. There's this, too. Like, it's not really strictly after seating, but I think we can make it work as such. Maybe what I can do, because I like these, like, little grass things. I could maybe have them, like, around the hot tub. Because I feel like as they are now, they're eating up a lot of my space. I feel like that's pretty good. <laughs> um, people just keep talking about balcony orgies. And you know what? I respect it. Okay, cool. 
Maybe we'll do something like that instead. And then I could maybe even have some more of the grass structures to like break it up a little bit. I don't know, is that weird? Hmm. Hmm. I think that's fine. Giving the mods plenty of work. <laughs> I know. Faux yeah. The faux sheepskin bench covers are fancy. This one also has there's like a version of it here it is that have same kind of deal. I might include. I like that they gave us both options because I feel like it makes it look more organic. Um, I'm like tempted to put like a fire pit in there, but I don't know if that's really gonna play. I'm like trying to figure out if this grass works for breaking it up a little bit because I like the idea of it being here to like break up the different sections. But it might just sort of be in the way. Um, you know? Hmm. Fire pit is nice. Maybe if I just have them spaced out, it'll look better. Because I do really like these grass boxes and they feel like just the right amount of sort of like minimal plant stuff that she would have. Yeah, let's see, if, let's see about a fire pit. Fire pit. Outdoor items. Fire pit? Let's see. Fire. Fire. Is it like up to code to have a fire pit on a balcony? We're doing it anyway. Um. Okay, I, I, I dig this. I think that works. I think it's, I think the layout's okay. Should be able to move through there all right, hopefully. Um, I like see what they're going for by twisting these around, but part of me just wants them to be like perfectly symmetrical. You know what I mean? Uh, again, no. This bench is good though. Bench is perfect. Kind of like this being big open space. Maybe we'll have one of those like wellness mats there. I don't know, It'd be fun. Okay. So far, digging it though. Pre-made divider. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Fairy lights. I feel like fairy lights are like not her jam. Fairy lights are too like, they're too trendy, I think for her. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. So I really just want like a lot of good seating. I want a lot of artwork. Sell. I want none of these chairs. I hate them. I hate their guts. Um. Do they have better colors for these? Not really. You do though. Yeah, that's better. Um. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. So we're gonna need, I'm gonna get like the general art stuff out of the way first because we need like an easel. Um, here are the wellness mats I was talking about. Do it on the other side. Boop. Yeah, kind of like the idea of that. Okay. Um, easel. How do you spell easel? Yes, E-L. This is a cool one. I want there to be multiple. You know, like she's got easels all over the place. I don't know if I'll keep that one out there, but I'm gonna toss it there for now. This is a cool one. Okay, easels. Oh, this is cool, off the grid. We've got workstations. She might have a few of these in here. Um. I think I'm going to give her an insect farm. Seems like a thing she would have. Okay. I'm really psyched, though. Good call on saying make an artist. 
because you know what? I think this is gonna be pretty cool. I think she's gonna have a lot of cool shit. I really like this character. Um, yeah, and I really do like that you can, I feel like the museum is seeing it from here. I'm like, you know what? This does look pretty fucking cool. We did a good job. I even like the topiary up top. We are gonna need stairs here. I mean, the whole building needs stairs or oh, probably stairs and an elevator. I forget that you can use an elevator. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Creative, more creative stuff. Bonsai's for in here. A couple of these. Change the colors and everything later. Um, flower arranging. I don't know how much of that she's going to do. Woodworking, I want her to do. Should I ever play the violin? Should I put like an organ? I feel like she would have a DJ booth in her house. Maybe this is wild. I've thrown it in there for now. Maybe it's wild. I don't know. Um, I can also put a grand piano in here. Hmm. I'm like trying to think of both like what rich people have and also like eccentric rich people. Candle making, that should go in here. It's gonna be a lot of the studio stuff, I think. Fizzing station? Sure, why not? Hookah! That's, yeah, that's a good idea. Can you make apartments in eco-living? You can, there actually are existing eco-living lots, which I think someone had just said, but I'm saying it again. Um... I don't know if you can turn, I don't think you can turn like any building into an apartment, which I think would be really cool. I would love, like, I would love to be able to be like, oh, this apartment's too big. Let me break it up into two. And then it's like two separate apartments, which you can like sort of cheat with roommates. I feel like we need a bunch of little mannequins. Right? We need some mannequins. Just for now. I'm throwing a lot in here. It's gonna change. We'll also need stuff for the dog. It feels modern in a good way. Mm. Sure. Put it here. All right, cool. Oh, we need to do a dog bowl. Let's do pets. Pets. Dog Let's do this one. Pink. Er, yeah, this color. Yellow! Okay, great. I could also do it over here. I feel like it's just eating up a lot of valuable wall space, is my thing. I feel like hookah. Yeah. <sighs> I want to be able to be a landlord by an apartment building, but only NPCs are landlords. Oh, that is an interesting thought. Like a landlord mechanic? That, yeah, that would be cool for The Sims. What is this? What are you? Can't tell what this is. Oh, it's like a spitty dog ball. That's cute. <laughs> um, okay. All right, well, that probably does it for pets. Um, okay. I'm trying to think what else she would have. Massage table. Seems like something she would get on the rig. You know? Putting a lot in here. This might be too much. We'll we'll play it by ear. Um. Oh, photo studio. That's pretty that would be pretty neat. I need I still need to make a photo studio. I mean, that's kind of cool to just like have in your house, right? Dog's gonna be stoked with the DJ booth. Truly! Uh, it's like a little too much clutter in here. Let's see. I want to say Fran Leibowitz had like a loft apartment that she lived in for like years and years. I don't know if it's gonna be the right vibe. Like this is maybe a little too in excess, but it's... Oh, this is a different thing she got, but... I do love the big old lava lamp, but I want it to have sort of a similar feel. This is also, oh my god, I want this framed. This is so cool. Ah, uh, this is cool as hell. I want that cover. I I want to say there's a of her touring this loft. I'm going to turn the volume off Hello? just in case. 
I love these apartment tours. Oh, this apartment's so fucking cool. Like, but you see, it's like big and open, which is kind of the lofty feel we want. Um, this is kind of like where I'm at. I also think Fran Leibowitz has cool style. I mean, she's sort of, you know, oh, like this is pretty cool. I mean, hers is very like book heavy. Where this one's going to be like art and like stuff to make art heavy. But I want a lot of seating, which we like. Seating is a must. I love all these pictures. This is so cool. Dude, what a cool ass place. I want to live like this. Dang, must be so nice being rich. <sighs> Studio from, yes, yeah, from the Machino Pack. That, that, that's where they had all the photography stuff. Sorry, I, I feel like for a minute I was good about being like, this is what pack it's from. But the ship has sailed. This is very cool. What a cool table i don't think the sims has a curvy wervy table like this but it'd be pretty cool okay a lot of just random knickknacks oh my god she even has like like an outer garden area all right sorry i was just reminded of how fucking cool this apartment is a lot of pictures on the wall do an apartment therapy yeah i mean i think she's moved from her apartment since then is my understanding. I don't know if I'm going to keep this photo studio. Like, I like the idea of the photo studio, but it takes up a lot of space. And I think we just won't. Um, But I think she's moved. I think it was like famously, she stayed in that apartment for years and years, but I think she's more recently moved. Anyway. um, Okay, I'm going to put you here. Put you here maybe i'll just keep these close and a child okay easel there you another easel maybe here i want to say she can reach this we'll see um i love an easel right by the hot tub She's going to have easels everywhere. Because um, she's an artist, and I got to make sure you know it. I don't like the color of these, but that's easy to fix. Yeah. Good news. No more music. <laughs> My favorite glitch in the whole wide world. I don't know if it's a glitch. I feel like there's just like... I think what it is is in the cycle of songs they play, there's just one song that just doesn't play for some reason um but it like it, it'll like play out the song but in silence because like the music will start up again never know when she's gonna get inspired exactly <laughs> who needs security guards you have creepy mannequin mannequins guarding the door exactly who needs them not me okay we're gonna need to change the bonsai colors too let's see you, oopsies. What? Is this the only wood for the bonsai? It's too bad. Um. Okay, let's see if she. I don't know if she's gonna be able to get to that bonsai in the corner there with it like this. Like I really want the massage table to be kind of surrounded by plants. That's what I'm thinking. I also think some of these can go outside. There's no reason why they have to be, like, tucked inside. I'm gonna swap these, I think. Mm. I feel like I was going with, like, lighter wood on the inside, but let's do darker wood on the outside. That's what I'm thinking and feeling. Oh, it's right in front of the door. I'm gonna do one here. One there. Hopefully they can still use the massage table. We'll see. Um, yeah, that's good. Two insect farms. Maybe we can do them right in the middle. I don't know, if, I think it kind of works. Oh, hello, Solon Creation. We are making... We made a very cool artist because we are making a museum. There she is with her dog. Um, and we are making her apartment. And eventually we're going to 
you know, fill out all of her traits and her lifestyle and everything else. But we're doing a little bit of decorating. Um, yeah, this was kind of what's going on. Okay, we need our couches and chairs and stuff. We need the cozy shit. We need like a table. Let's see, dining, table. I want like a big, big, interesting, unusual table, you know? It's kind of what I'm thinking. I wish we could have that curvy table like in that video we just saw. So cool. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if it suits the rest of the house though. I've never looked at this table before. But like, hmm. I'm gonna start with that one. Although this one, this is from the like, it's the Sims birthday gift pack. It's like simple in a way I really like. I might go with this. Nice red wood. I feel like she'll need like a computer on here. I'm trying to think of where we should put it. Is it weird having it like right when you walk in? Maybe. Just seems weird having it by the like bar, but I guess maybe not. Yeah, I'm gonna put this here for now. Let's get some chairs. I also want a bunch of interesting chairs. So like I'm tempted to have a bunch of like mismatched chairs that still look good together and with it. Like if they all are like black, then they'll like match each other, you know, or like black-ish. But I don't know if that's too like, I feel like we can just find a good chair to suit the space. Like, I kind of like that one. Um, let's see what else we have as far as chairs go. There's this one. It's like a little too country. I do, I do like it. Yeah, I don't know if the mix match chairs are doing it for me. Hmm. You can also do something like this, which is just like... Very simple, very modern, easy. Hello, Vegeta. Um, anyway. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna go with the simple ones. I do like some of these, but I just think that the mixed match is not really working for her right now. Is there a better color? Yeah, let's do this color. Like, I like the simplicity of what we were rocking here. Is this the best color matching, though? I think I'll go with the more dull wood. It's, like, not exactly the same as this one. All right, maybe we'll do that. I kind of like the red, but this suits the chairs better. It's not the cool curvy table that Fran has, but still pretty cool. The artist... It's sort of gonna fill up the museum. I mean, we're gonna do what we can, but yeah. The museum exterior pretty much done. You can see it from here. There it is. You know, still a few things to be tweaked here and there, but that's pretty much it. I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, okay. Anyway, back to business. I think this is looking pretty good. You know, it's a start. We need like comfy couches. I feel like I like, I feel like I'm going to do a lot from the eco living pack, which is what this is from. And then probably a lot from the, um, the, the winter skiing pack. I always forget what it's called. The winter wonderland, winter snowy escape. That one. Yes. This. There's it's just a certain simplicity that I think is really going to suit this. Ooh. Paint splatter tarps for the easel is a good idea. Um, tarp. Okay, well, come on. Let's just search tarp. Oh, whoa. Kind of like the military one. I wish it was like a little more subtle. I wish it was more distressed. You know what I mean? It's like a little too perfect. Um, paint? Let's see what we have. Let's just search for paint. 
and see what we get. Hmm. I wish this was more blank. I don't like the look of these. Okay, I guess that's the only color you can have for it. What is this? That come with paint. Um. All right. Well, let's do canvas. There's definitely a lot of canvas items. Like there's more of these, which we want. I'm gonna put it behind the mannequins. I want to say you can put clothing on these mannequins, which I think is gonna be a cool look. She's gonna make like the perfect suburban family or something. It's an art piece, you know what I mean? Paint tarp is hidden. Well, I unlocked everything though. So let's do rugs. Let's see what we have. Okay. Um, decorations, rugs. Oopsies. Rugs. Paint tarp hidden. I'm looking at all the ones which have, oh, this has a little more texture to it at least. I might wind up going with that one. Is this the same thing, just like a different color? I think it's different. I like kind of can't tell. This, it's not a tarp. Yeah, I think that's the same, exactly the same thing. <laughs> um, okay. Still looking for the tarp. No sweat, no fuss rug. Okay, whatever. Um, not finding it. There's also this sort of, like, chalk, but I don't know if that really suits what we're rocking here. It's- I love the it's a tarp versus it's not a tarp. That's very funny. This is a little more... hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, it might be hidden. It's also, like, I feel like sometimes there's also- I could add, like... Oh, that looks just, like, mustard. Synthetic food rug. <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. I wish this didn't look as much like rotten food, and it looked more like paint. It's also like this, which is maybe an interesting way to do it. Add a little texture. Little Some puppy dog prints. I mean, that's just cute. Yeah. I like that adds some nice texture to it. Didn't we use it for one of the builds? Liberty Lee? I don't know. May I I mean I'm not seeing it. Doesn't mean it's not here, but we've definitely used a tarp before. I don't know if it had paint on it though. Um okay. Okay. Honestly, the colors are already kind of perfect. Like, I love this vibe already. Like, it's both minimal and also kind of like a lot in a way I like. Like, I want more big art pieces like this, you know? Oh, that's interesting. Perhaps I'll put this here. Do gray. Cool. Oh, this this is cool. I might have to put this on the museum. We'll see if we can make it work. What is this? Desk pen set. That's fun. Um, I do want to put a computer on this desk. I mean, this table is a little bit kind of a dining table in addition to the dining table we already have. But I feel like she would have like a computer rock in here. You know what I mean? We need like a electronics. Computer like it kind of feels like it would just be at one of these spots all right i might call it there um some modern fireplaces that's true i'm not against a fireplace but i don't know if we need it i just feel like it's gonna eat up a lot of space in a way i don't necessarily want oh i wish we could change the color of these mannequins we can also change the color of these but i kind of like them being blank because i feel like she's not gonna be painting a lot of like landscapes, you know? Um, 
Maybe I'll put this behind you. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. All right. I think this is a good start though. I'm feeling really good. You know, we still have to finish the museum. We definitely will. Where is it? There it is. Um, I'm very excited to continue with it. I think this is a really cool build for this lady. Um, I'm excited to play her and I'll be right back and we're gonna watch the uh, Resident Evil Village, um, I guess, stream. So I'll be right back in two minutes, don't go anywhere. See you soon. It is what it is. Um, so, just to recap what happened. Um, we had one baby. Yes, with the Joker. Ha 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 ha. Of course. Ha 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 ha. Of course. We had one baby. Yes, with the Joker. Ha 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 ha. Of course. Ha 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 ha. Hello. My name is Abby Russell. This is my 100 baby challenge. Um, so, just to recap what happened, um, we had one baby, yes, with the Joker, ha 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 ha, of course, ha 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 ha, of course, we had one baby, yes, with the Joker, ha 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 ha, of course, ha 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 ha, of course, I think we had one baby, yes, with the Joker, ha 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 ha, of course, and then Remy is pregnant with Linguini I'm back! I'm gonna get... let's do this, okay. I'm gonna save and quit. Alright. Anyway, hope everyone's having a good day. You know what I'm also gonna do? Check this out. Gonna get real fancy in here. Hope you're all excited. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Hold on, it's gonna take me a second. <laughs> I don't have the button set up for it, but <gasps> look at that. Wow, official stream. I have to change all my info on my stream. So it'll just be a moment. Edit stream info. Yep, see you later, Sim Guru. Thanks for sticking by. So, f all right. Ah. <sighs> Sticking by, I guess it's coming by, sticking around, whatever. You know what I mean, edit stream info. Don't really know what to call this, so I'm gonna say, wow, cool game. <laughs> um, Resident Evil Village, sure. Um, Resident Evil Village, boom. Okay. Bingo, bango, bongo. Refresh your stream if you don't see it. <sighs> I know. Official stream. Oh, also, I do have what's hopefully a fun thing for everyone. Let me, let me check it out. Um, I was given 50 codes for avatars. If you are in North America and have a PlayStation, these are for you. The Resident Evil Village avatar codes. I haven't redeemed any yet, so I don't Fully know what that is. Um, but I'm just going to start putting them in the chat, basically. Can I not copy and paste these? Because that's going to be really annoying. Hmm. Let's try downloading this file and seeing what's going to happen. All right. Okay, now I can copy paste. We're good. So basically, 
if you want um, <laughs> Resident Evil code, just let me know. Just let me know. Who wants it? Okay. I'm going to put four in for my mods, because I appreciate the work they do. RE Village Avatar Codes for the PlayStation. This is going in our little Discord chat. <laughs> um, smiley face, enter. Okay, y'all are getting the first three. Boop. One. And two. And three. Okay, great. Done. Um, anyway, I guess I'm just, I don't really have a good method for this. I've never had to give away codes before. I mean, I don't have to give these away. So honestly, I, is it easy to whisper to people? I'm going to say if you make a fun joke about Resident Evil. Oh, I should also get, I don't really know. I need to make sure the stream's going to go so we don't miss it. Um, let's see. Hold on. Just want to make this sure the stream's up. But I was going to say maybe if you make like, I'm not looking at chat right now. But maybe if you make like a fun, uh, let's do, well, let's watch it from YouTube. Just gonna get it going now. Resident Evil Showcase is what we're watching. April, 2021, that's the one that's probably gonna be in English. All right, yeah, we got a half hour. Oh, just gonna turn it down halfway, but it's part. It's party time. All right, it's just gonna show some stuff here. Um, anyway, let me see. Hold on, before I do that, where did I put my codes? <laughs> this is um, disorganized. It's gonna be real with everyone. Okay. Do not have a PlayStation. All right, sorry everyone. It's for North America and PlayStation. But basically, if you put in a fun joke about Resident Evil, I'll give you a code. I'll whisper it to you. Or if you say you want one, <laughs> I'll whisper it to you. How does it sound? Or I'll just start putting them in the chat. Up to you. I have one ready to go to be whispered if anyone wants it. In the meantime, I'm not really sure what to expect from this. Um, I guess I should say... My thoughts are my own and do not reflect Capcom in any way, even though this is an official stream. Um, I want one. Okay, great. Let's whisper. Got it. Enjoy this code, Dom Cats. Um, I want it. Whisper to you too. Here's another one. Everybody gets, I wish I had a t-shirt gun for this. Okay. Got it. One for you. <sighs> um, yeah, official Resident Evil Village stream. It's happening. Last administration, more like President Evil, am I right? Nice. Not in the US and don't have a PlayStation, though. Giving you one anyway. <laughs> I think we'll have plenty, so I'm not really too worried about it. Have fun. Have fun. Here you go. Enjoy. Enjoy the code. Um, Kevin's trying to think of a joke. Sounds pretty funny to me. Here you go. Whispering one to you. Alright, we're like... Let's see how many codes we've given away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. 43 left. Alright, you get a code. Everyone's getting codes. Alright. Love doing horror stuff. I know, I'm honestly really excited for Resident Evil Village. <laughs> That's very funny, these people. Um, only very slightly chaotic and I love it. Okay, does anybody else want one? Um, T-shirt gun emote. Oh, that would be fun. What kind of codes are we talking here? You asked about it, so I'm giving you one anyway. But we are talking Resident Evil Village avatar codes for the PlayStation in North America. But you got a code, Head Wounds, because you asked about it. Enjoy. Um, would love a code. Great. You're getting one. Um, so basically, I think it's I think it's basically just like an avatar picture. You know, how you're in your PlayStation profile, you got the little avatar. I think that's what you got rocking. Yeah. Anyway, enjoy it. 
You did not miss Resident Evil itself like a half hour. Um, anybody want codes? All babies want to get born. It's true. I'm a joke. Can I have a code? You got it, Groggy Boggy. You got it. This is fun music, at least. Um, but yeah, I really don't know what to expect from this. It'll be my first reaction stream as a Twitch streamer. Just joined. Did I miss Resident Evil? No, you did not. Codes, LazyCon, here you go. Oops. LazyCon and Jordan. Both of y'all are getting codes. Um, anyway, I did enjoy the preview. I hope we get more info. Jordan. Oopsies. Here we go. Whisper. All right, I feel like we've done at least 10. Okay. Jordan. Teenage Blues. First time, got something from a giveaway. Nice. Um, sure, Geese Peep, you get a code too. Whisper. Code for you. All right, we still have like plenty left. So truly, anybody wants a code, I'm probably just gonna start throwing them in the chat after this. The codes are four. Um, did you get one for Zark? I don't know who got one or not. I'm kind of losing track. Codes are for Resident Evil Village, which is a new Resident Evil game, and you can get an avatar for your PlayStation. What's Jill's favorite burger? A smash burger. I don't really get it, but okay, girl turned gamer. Whispering a code right to you. Um Smash Burger. Is did she get smashed in the game? <laughs> Jill Sandwich? Partners inform me you would like one. Here you go. Whisper in a code right to ya. If I miss ya, just let me know and I'll send you a code. All right. No problemo, everyone. Enjoy your codes. I'd like a code. Okay, Burzark. Whisper in a code right to ya. Let's see. <sighs> anyway, Big Apple 3 a.m. Here we go. Rock and roll. Time to party. Oh gosh, something weird happened. Okay. What's y'all's favorite Capcom game? <laughs> code, please. Oh, girl turned gamer. Thank you for subscribing. Blue Moon Kate, you're getting a code. I feel like there's pro. I'm like very curious how other streamers do this. <laughs> this doesn't feel like the best way. Watching a thing come together. Hmm. All right. Want a Dutch oven on a Twitter giveaway? Nice. Wouldn't mind a code. Okay. All right. Always be clothing. Here we go. Code for you. Boop. A huge pack of monsters in a giant stampede. Oh man, giant stampede. Doesn't sound good. It's like Jumanji. <sighs> Dark void recently. Nice. Usually they throw them in chat. First come, first serve. Well, I'm hand delivering to people. <laughs> no problem. Enjoy it. Um, we still have, I would say, at least half the codes left. So I will be throwing them in chat if people don't want them. But I want to say... Just trying to make sure I didn't not overlap in codes. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, take one. Okay, oh, snap. Sam, let's do it. Um... Code for you. I am really excited. Like I said, Resident Evil. We're playing more tonight, so always good for more Resident Evil. Here you go. Code for you. This way is better. What I'm playing now. Here you go. Code for you. Don't be shy about it. I'm happy to give them away. That's why I'm here. Okay. And if anybody gets a code that's like not working or something, let me know. Um. I don't think I've given any duplicates out, but who knows? Anyway, enjoy your codes. You enjoy a Resident Evil Village avatar. Um, but I did play the demo a bit ago. Hello, secular strategy. Does Yo mean you want a code? Because I'll give you one. I don't care. <sighs> Gotta get hydrated. Streamers would delegate to mods or Discord bot. You know what? My mods already do so much work for me. I'm sitting here anyway. 
So might as well do it. It's a very cool avatar, people are saying. Cool. Code for what? This is a code for Resident Evil Village avatar for your PlayStation if you live in North America. Life's been treating me well, can't complain. Everyone say Grace. Grace Train's happening. I guess I'll save one code for myself then. Well, people wouldn't. Might just buy a PlayStation to use the avatar. <laughs> I'll give you another one if you want to wait till you have a PlayStation. I'm surprised um, more people don't have PlayStations, to be honest. Anyway. Your grandfather, Red, was a fine, upstanding rider. I might move around uh, my camera. Seems to be covering a lot of the uh, video here. Save it for someone else. Fair enough. All right, Liz Lee, you're getting one. Whisper. Code for you. Oopsies. Copy. And paste. I have a PS3. I'll give you a code. I don't know. Can I have a code? Yes. Enjoy it, Pi Scam. But your life is great. No one's life is a joke here. All right. There you go. Code's for you. That was confusing here. <laughs> um... There should still be an 8 p.m. stream tonight. I think we're also going to stream Friday evening as well. I'm also excited for Resident Evil Village. I have to be specific about how I say that. Um, I am going to, like I said, move my camera. Boop, 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 boop. All right, let's gonna go. Boop. This way we won't block as much of the screen. Still some of it. Official stream. Make it smaller. But I want everyone to know it's official. All right. <sighs> demo was pretty cool. I know, I like the demo. The demo wasn't as scary as I hoped it would be, but it was also like 20 minutes long. Um, I'm curious about the whole vampire thing. I'm happy they're moving away from sort of the zombies. I also like the kind of medieval castle that they had going on. I'm going to turn down the volume on this because quite frankly, this is not a game for me. <laughs> um, you're welcome for the code. No problem. Enjoy it, everyone. Still have plenty left if anybody wants some. Lots of codes. I'll probably throw them into chat. If people don't take it, but look at the details we put into the environment for the demo. Yeah. Um, I feel like vampire thing is centered around something called the V virus. I would be surprised. Um, confirmed mummy or Frankenstein? Oh, I don't know. Ooh, the late toast. Will Resident Evil 8 bring back little Lord <laughs> Boy? We can only hope. Well said, the late toast. Well said. What's the code for? It is for a Resident Evil Village avatar for your PlayStation if you live in North America. Would you like one? I'll take a code. Okay, Rooster. All right, code for you. All right. Why not? Got it. Enjoy your code. I'm in. Hit me. Cool. Here you go, Hunter. Enjoy the code. Happy to, happy to give you one. I'd say... We've reached the halfway point of codes given away. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Oh, I'm also, well, yeah. Um, I do love the Resident Evil games. So let's see, I still need to play the first one. I haven't played yet. Played two, as we know, played three just last year. Played four recently. Did I play it out of order? I want to say I went two, four, three, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm playing 5 now, and I will be playing 8 p.m. Eastern this evening. Hope to see you there. Um, 6? Haven't played. Heard it's pretty bad. But I don't know. We'll see. I've heard it's not the best, I guess I should say. Um, if chat is set up to do commands, having a code command... Yeah! I'm not gonna code for a thing for a one-off stream that's like 40 minutes long. Not gonna do it. Happy to hate it out directly to you. I don't think I have the audience where it's gonna, they're gonna be like, Oh my god, you gotta do it! So, like, it's, it hasn't been so hard to just hand give out codes. Did they do a remake of 6? I know they did a remake of 3. I'm still eager to play 6. I haven't done it. It's also, like, 
sometimes people, especially in these big series, are like, we want the game to be what we thought it was before, and rather than just like what it is now. What are the codes for? Amazing question. Codes. My friend loves RE6, but not usually people's favorites. Interesting. I mean, eager to play it. Hopefully, eventually, I will. Um, I also played 7 recently. I really did play them out of order. Um, and I'm currently playing 5, like I said. Excited to play Village. The codes are 4. Sorry. Fauntleroy. Little Lord Fauntleroy. I don't know if that's really what your name is. But the codes are 4. A Resident Evil Village Avatar for your PlayStation if you live in North America. Can I make it more simple? <laughs> Ah, <sighs> streamer for the people. Exactly. Cutting out the middleman. Like I said, my mods work hard enough. <laughs> and my... Oh, cool. Fauntleroy, would you like one? May I please have one? Sure, Bobby Waffles. I'm gonna whisper one to ya. Um, anyway. Happy to give them out. I feel like I'm connecting with people by doing this. I'd love a code. Okay, Fauntleroy. Here you go. Boom. Boom. Pretty big cojones. Oh my god, I love that line. Yes, the late toast. You may have a code. Ooh. Days, uh, thank you for the six months. Okay. Okay. Late toast. Um, let me just check to make sure I didn't miss anybody in chat. Ah. I'm enjoying my energy. Thank you. We are all little lords on this day. <laughs> <laughs> Great at running a carnival booth. Oh, thank you. YJ20145. Code coming up for you. Just a moment. Wow. Definitely over the halfway mark. Feels good. Um, there you go. Okay. Also, everyone's asking so politely, which I like. Spanky old man, you get a code. No problem there. Spanky old man. Oops can't kill your own father. Whoa, what's happening here? Um, which RE game is the scariest? I would say Resident Evil 7. Like, RE2, in my experience, the remastered one I played had, like, good jump scares, but RE7, the beginning is so scary. I played it in VR, and I was like, I'm gonna die. Um, it's so scary. And I would say the rest is not as scary as, like, the beginning section. Because the beginning section is very scary. And the rest plays more like a Resident Evil game. Not in a bad way. Um, but. Just got here. Don't know what the code is, but I want one. Alright. The code is for Resident Evil Village Avatar for your PlayStation if you're in North America. Boop. Bingo, bango, bongo. Enjoy. You're welcome, everyone. <sighs> Code Veronica. Oh, I never. I don't think I ever played that one. Seven seems like it's trying to actually be scary a bit. Six or wall to wall camp. Ooh, camp is fun. I like camp. No problem. Everybody. Don't think I'd be able to handle RE7 in VR. Yeah, I played the beginning in VR and it was intense. Definitely sweaty. How does this work? Do I send you my CC info now? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, just enjoy it. I don't know. S slap it in your PlayStation and see what it is. Yeah. I do love the puzzles. I So what I hope for Resident Evil Village, I hope for good puzzles, good scares, tall broads, and just a good time. But really, I want... Oh, thank you so much, Drum Kid. Thank you for the four months. But really what I want is I want good puzzles. I love a good puzzle environment. Like, I want good environmental puzzles. And I want a good atmosphere. Like, good scary atmosphere. Not too much being chased, just because chasing scares me. But, whatever. Well, this code said the PS3 store from <laughs> Um Village is the game with the big lady. Yes. Have I seen the Resident Evil CG animated movies? I have not. I don't watch a lot of video game movie ties tie-ins. But... Nanex99, thank you for the four months. I appreciate it. <laughs> so we have 10 minutes left. Can't wait. So this, I played Summon Devil May Cry. I remember enjoying it. 
I didn't finish it. But I remember being like, oh, this is more fun than I thought it would be. Dizzy Lizzy! Thank you for the gift subs. I appreciate it. Weird soft spot for the M Mila Jovovich RE movies. Actually, I don't think they were. I think it was Aeon Flux. But which movies had a woman who had hands for feet? Do you know what I'm talking about? And then she stepped in this grass that was like needles. Oh, you gotta know what I'm talking about. Aeon Flux, okay. Oh, this is, this was RE7, right? Is this a DLC? What is this? Oh God. What is it? Is this for Resident Evil Village? Ooh, we got a hype train going. Thank you, Grey Wild, for the gift sub. Oh, it's the tall woman. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When oh. I find him. No, Tante Miranda. I love to have a phone call while staring at myself in the mirror. <laughs> Cool. So now I was like, I didn't think this would be in an era with telephones. What the hell is going on here? Oh, look at these tall women. Place is full of nothing Resident blood. Evil hype. Abby hype. Thank you, Nanex. Got a hype train going still. Already at level three. Wow. Ooh. It's a pretty modern gun. For some reason, I was like, this game's set in the 1800s. But clearly, that's not true at all. Whoa. Okay. I don't know, if, have they shown this trailer before? Because I played the demo and really didn't look at much else. But I remember a lot of these things in the demo. Ooh! Looked like chocolate. I think it was bronze, probably. Uh-oh, baby! Baby sacrifice! Wow. Well, Ethan Winters. There you are. <laughs> <gasps> Fun! They have released this trailer previously, yes. So what I'm most excited about with Resident Evil Village and what I was hopeful for was that kind of, cause like some of the stuff I don't always love about the Resident Evil games, and this is more just for me, is there's a lot of like militaristic aspects to it, which is just like not really my vibe. So I was hopeful, oh, I love the look of this guy. So I was hopeful it would be more of like 1800s, earlier technology, same world, but like, Less of the, like, I'm a military guy and I'm going in and we're going to nuke it at the end. You know what I mean? But I'm excited. This is official. Look. Official stream. Boo. Boo. Official stream. RE-verse. Oh, I don't know this. Oh, wow. This is like, is this Battle Royale Resident Evil? I'm sorry, but these people are kind of bad shots. <laughs> Um, oh, Matt's rating. Thank you, Matt. Um, if anybody from Matt's stream would like a code for a Resident Evil Village avatar for your PlayStation, if you live in North America, let me know and I'll whisper one to you. Happy to do it. Happy to do it. Let me know. We still have a pretty good amount left. <laughs> um, anyway, Matt, hello. I love this avatar you have. The... It's a, it's a really good one. I live in North America. Do you want one, Nanex? Have I given you one yet? Hello. I'll take one. Okay, Infinite Soup. Say no more. I'd say we still have at least 20 or so left. Boop. I have a vague memory of this trailer. I have not had one, please. Okay, Nanex. Also, if you are asking for one in like an avatar or something, I might get confused by it. They're not always so clear. If that's like, I just see somebody like having a raised hand avatar, I think. Lazy fair. I'm going to give you one either way. Not sure if you want one, but you're getting one. Matt, I hope you're having a good day. And it's good to see you. Thank you for the raid. I feel like this is, usually I get to raid you. <laughs> um, I know, usually I raid Matt, but I'm going late today. So, whoa, look at this robot cat. You can see his robot brain. That was so cool. Ah. Uh. 
Um, don't have a PlayStation. Well, you can enjoy it anyway. Give it to a friend. Whatever. <sighs> anyway, if anybody wants one, happy to do it. Matt, did you have a good time streaming? What did you, uh, what did you make today? Good drawing, I'm sure. Wow, look at this kid grabbing onto the head. Robot child. This is not what I remember from this trailer. Cheer 100 Hypey. Hypey? <laughs> Thank you, Affable Cameron. We do still have a hype train going, which is very exciting. I know. I I remember seeing this stuff in the beginning, but I feel like all that other stuff was new. That girl should have shoes on. We're in space. Where is her suit? I don't know which game is this. We're going to find out. Cool. Pragmata, people are saying. All right. Cool. Thanks for the hype train, everyone. Oh, five minutes. It's starting. Ooh, there's like, I'm trying to decipher. So we got like bird wings. We got sticks. It's almost like a little fetus or like, you know, that little like mushroomy root thing that the little girl put in under the mom's bed in, um, Pan's Labyrinth, that's what it reminds me of. Anyway, Mr. Lurker, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. People are saying it's a fetus, but it's it's too earthy. Mandrake. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. A bird fetus? I don't know what a bird fetus looks like. Oh, it does. It is kind of like, got the big head. <sighs> Is my sound on for the showcase? Yeah, I can turn it up though. Right now it just sounds like... You didn't hear the trailers. I turned it down quite a bit because I was like talking. But... Can y'all hear the... I can uh, crank it up a little bit more. It is an official stream. Boo, 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 boo. Oh boy. All right. Oh wow, I was pointing totally the wrong way. Official stream. <laughs> this way. Boo, 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 boo. Anyway. Ooh, true spooky vibes. Yes. I know. I don't know why I keep pointing the wrong way. <laughs> I could never be like, um,. A news anchor, you know what I mean? Like a weather person. It seems very hard to do. <laughs> anyway, excited for, I'm excited to hear more about this game. Cause like I said, love Resident Evil. I wanna play through all of them eventually on stream. We're gonna be playing more Resident Evil tonight. Ooh, Black Mamba, thank you for the gift subs. I really appreciate it. Um, taking this horse by the reins, making red coats redder with blood stains. Wow, fun. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Black Mamba1187. Um, but anyway, I really like the Resident Evil games. I'm excited to play more of them, especially Resident Evil Village. I want to say this is the first full-on new Resident Evil game that's coming out since I've really been, like, actually invested in them. Because I did play RE5. I never finished it, but I played it, like ages and ages ago. I actually had the red RE5 PlayStation or Xbox, which I really liked quite a bit. Xbox 360. It is back all our night. I will see you at 8 p.m. Eastern if you want to see me play Resident Evil 5 with my good buddy, Jeff Bacalar. Oh, two minutes left. I wonder how spooky it's going to be. Hopefully very spooky. I want it to be scary. I want, I've already said what I want, but scary, atmospheric, puzzles, Tall broads. Seems like easy to fill that standard. How far into five am I? I've played about two hours of it because we've only had one stream of it so far, but it was fun. <sighs> Atmospheric broads, I'm open to it. I'm open to it. <sighs> so we have a minute and 20 seconds left. Guac and scary are extras. <laughs> Guac spice, scary spice. Oh no, peace people, go eat something. Did I play amnesia? 
on Six Crazy Fright. So I did play Amnesia, like one of the weird offshoots. It was called like Jolene, I think. And I didn't do a very good job. And it was one of those weird ones where if you died, that was it. So I couldn't like continue on. I have played the original Amnesia forever ago. And it was very scary for me. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I think I watched someone else play it through the end. I got through the water section. Being chased in that water section, I found so scary. And then I think I played like a couple hours past that. And then I think I just never got back into it. Originally, Amnesia is so scary. Fair enough, geese peep. Fair enough. I feel like Resident Evil has a good balance of like... It feels atmospheric, but it's not necessarily, like, oppressively scary. I mean, RE7 in the beginning kind of is, but it's not that sort of, like, oh my god, I could die at any moment. It's more just, like, ooh, spooky atmosphere. I feel like it's now getting a little loud. Ah! Turning it down a pinch. Sue me. Okay, here we go. No. They gave you a gun to fight back, exactly. But blood and death. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? Wow. Well, Ethan Winters. What the hell was that? <laughs> Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> Ethan Winters is a very good name. Hmm. Hey everyone, <gasps> and welcome to the second Resident Evil showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombach. Yes. And I'm so excited to That's exciting. Experience. We're gonna hear from the Resident Evil team today, and they have so much new content for you. Another trailer, new gameplay, and more news for Resident Evil Village, which is right around the corner, coming to us on May 7th. We'll also be sharing the latest on the 25th anniversary of the series and some fun surprises that go along with that, so stay tuned. I to do. Off, I have the honor of introducing. June I love that they make it look like she's in the spooky field. I really love that they make it look like she's in a spooky field. <laughs> anyway, I know, I didn't know she was hosting this either. It's exciting. Takeuchi, executive producer on Resident Evil. Oh, his jacket's support, so cool. The franchise has reached its 25th anniversary. Thank you so much. 25 whole years, supported by so many of our fans. When I look back over the years... Can't wait till I'm also 25. <laughs> ...this project with Shinji Mikami, I never would have imagined that it would turn into such a long-lasting franchise. Even now, I want to see the series continue to succeed through your continued support. Now we've prepared the latest trailer for our upcoming title, Resident Evil Village. It's a game jam-packed full of entertainment and horror, and it has a huge breadth of content, so brace yourselves when you play. Well then, without further ado, please enjoy. Do you think that when Resident Evil turned 25, it started, like, not being able to drink as much soda as it could before because it was gaining weight? <laughs> and, like, its knees hurt every time it stood up? Because that's what happened to me! <sighs> anyway... A little more volume on the broadcast. Can do. On black wings. We await the light at the end. Okay. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. Is that the tall woman? Because I love her. <gasps> Look at that horseshoe on. I want a belt buckle that looks like that. When you're whining, we're almost there. Ugh. <laughs> Where are you? Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... To Louisa's house oh. near the fields. Did she forget that... Hmm. Is she actually Louisa? <laughs> what was that? Hmm. The visuals do look very good. And this is also, like, streaming and I'm streaming. Oh, no. So it They're should coming. be, like, the best quality, but... They're coming. Who is? What Whoa, look at him that? jump! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Oh, I don't want that. Tell me what is going on around here. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Oh, look at her. Oh. Let's see how special you are. <laughs> oh, this game. <laughs> is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left? There is no one left! Oh, oh beans. We can bust out with this. Lichens and gentlemen! What are lichens? We thank you for waiting. 
Oh, uh, look at all of them. Begin. Okay, I gotta say I'm into the vibes already. Like a ceremonial blade. There's a suit of armor. What is that? Underground, like, mines making people or something? What is that? Okay, we're getting a lot of weird monsters here, which I like. Oh my god, stop. They're call calling me Ethan. Oh boy. Stay the fuck down. I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. See, I'm like very intrigued. Something happened to you now. Like this is so militaristic. I don't now militaristic. The job. When the rest was so like old timey ceremonial, and I guess it's maybe the juxtaposition of like when you go into this castle, it's like whoa, it's all kind of medieval and weird. Even though she had the telephone, but you know what I mean. What's the main character's name? <laughs> Ethan Winter. There is so much to break down there. I know we cannot wait to find out what Chris's involvement is. Now, in the last showcase, we promised that another demo was coming oh. this spring. Okay, Some tells me it won't involve casual tea time with Lady Dimitris, but I don't think the internet will <laughs> mind that. Let's pass it to Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village, to tell us more about that I upcoming went tea time demo. with the tall lady. Thank you so much for joining us again today. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I thought you pronounced it with a U, but I could be mistaken. I will say the email about this told me how to pronounce this, so I'll let you know Thank the you proper way to pronounce it. With me. Hi everyone, I'm Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil Village has been created with the concept of a beautiful yet terrifying village in mind. And we have poured a passion into creating this experience for our fans. Of course, it also has the combat resource management and horror elements you expect from Great. Resident Evil. All we good. also made sure there's plenty of gameplay content as well. In the previous showcase, we told you that we'd have another demo ready for you across multiple platforms. Well, I'm happy to announce that the next demo experience will be available on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, Steam, and Stadia. In lieu of the game event that we were unable to hold, we have prepared a special day where you can experience Resident Evil Village. The U is silent. The she said it right. To be available. Okay. Limited time demo. Wait, is You'll this more of the... Oh, okay. Of 60 minutes <gasps> to explore both Ooh, the village and I'm excited for this. I like the other demo, so I hope it's... You're free to I'm curious if it'll be a continuation or what. Stages or choose which one you want to play. Oh, cool. It's up to you <gasps> where you spend your survival too tall for doors. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 owners will also get early access as well. Great. We've titled it Eight Hours in Village. We have the details for you here. Cool. Eight hours in village. It's like in seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> village being the eighth major installment of the franchise. You will have an eight-hour window to try out the demo for 30 minutes. So that's like early May, I think it said. Will have early access to the village Which makes sense. The game first, comes out like May 7th or something. The section. For the early access players, feel free to also stream and share your playthrough to the world. Great. We hope that with your help, tell me twice. we will be able to show off the demo to everyone. And for the multiple platform demo, we hope that all players from all over the world will be able to enjoy the Resident Evil Village demo. Finally, Great. players will be able to preload the demo ahead of time. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 owners oh, are able quite to smile. download the demo <laughs> starting today. Oh, no, well, that makes sense. Eight hours Please in village. Visit our official website for more details. Basically, what it's saying we is you can download you the game now. There's going to be an eight hour period where it's like unlocked, the and then you'll have an of hour horror. of gameplay within that eight hour period, is my understanding. I'm so torn cool. where to spend my time. Do I spend it in the village or the castle? Let us know what your plan is. But in the meantime, what if I told you there's another surprise in store? Oh. Any guesses? <laughs> Let's see if we can get director Mori Masasato. I actually do not have a guess. Is. I have no idea what the surprise will be. Hi, 
Hi everyone, I'm Director Morimasa Sato. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you all about the much requested extra game mode included in Resident hmm. Evil Village. Mercenaries. The mercenaries. That's a cool for shotgun. You about you it see for that? the first time, it's a beloved extra mode featured in various games in the franchise. Hmm. It's best known for high-speed arcade-style action. Okay. Where you have to reach the goal within a certain time. Oh, interesting. Of course, we've also added some new touches to it. So let's dive into some of the additions we've made. That's cool. I wonder if it'd be like a horde mode or if it's more just like get through a the zone. first change is that we've added a shop. In this Gunsmithy. version of the mercenaries, you can access the Duke's Emporium between areas. You're free to purchase new weapons with the money you collect or upgrade your arsenal to fit your playstyle. Cool. I saw you eyeing that one. Ooh, I love the voice actor for this. Thank you for your patronage. I saw you eyeing that one. Ooh, it's my favorite gun. Ooh. Oh, what are Rest you buying? Sure. You can expect this side mode to be just as fast paced as the previous installments. Clear. Clear. That's fun. I like a good arcade shooter. So, I'm down for that. You'll have to consider which weapons you'll take into each stage and how you'll customize them. With a large arsenal of Such options, Such a pretty gun. With, it's up to the player to figure out what strategy works best for them. Oh, cool. Abilities. Another change is the addition of oh, abilities. Interesting. Abilities can increase the damage of handguns. So it's like shotguns speed. work better. Oh, okay, it's explaining all the things. They can also make your guard stronger, each increasing the player's capabilities. Acquire new abilities to employ your own strategies as you fight your way through each stage. Oh, and it explodes. Okay, so it seems like the abilities are either like enhancements to your skills already, like blocking and shooting, or maybe passive stuff like more guard or like exploding barrels stuff. For those who Pretty cool though. If you're looking for an additional challenge, we hope you're excited for this extra mode that's included with the main game. It's a Great. challenging and rewarding bonus mode packed with content. I wonder if you so can do it in co-op. That seems like a really fun co-op mode. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. If you haven't already heard, Resident Evil has reached an impressive milestone. On March 22nd, the franchise celebrated its 25th anniversary. And like so many of you, I've been a fan since practically day one. Together, we've watched the franchise evolve from a series of survival horror games to a big umbrella of video oh, games, I get movies, it. toys, board games, I get games, it, umbrella. Nice. Resident Evil RE Verse is just one of the many ways Capcom is celebrating that anniversary. Lots of you probably tried the open beta earlier this month, mm -hmm. but don't forget, Resident Evil RE Verse will be available for free to anyone who purchases oh, Resident cool. Evil Village. The franchise has also inspired change and evolution in the video game industry as a whole. Let's hear from some industry powerhouses here to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the I hope they get the guy who voices Mario. Mario. <laughs> <sighs> I'd like to congratulate the Resident Evil team on their 25th cool. anniversary. 25 years is a long time. It's been a true pleasure watching for half a second embrace i did think it was um find new ways to advance storytelling the guy from over the last master of disguise i'm generations. forgetting his name that comedian and i can't wait to see what resident <laughs> evil village will be like dana carvey yes biohazard 25年おめでとうございます Bio One が出た時、初代プレイステーションの売り上げがバーンと伸びたのを覚えています。Oh, I'm so excited. 本当に嬉しかったです。そしてバイオセブンでは PSVR で、oh, yeah. VR の素晴らしい体験を届けていただきました。ありがとうございます。そして今度のビレッジ本当に楽しみにしています。ますます進化し続けるバイオハザード、これからも応援します。
Hello, I'm Ashley Swadowski. I'm the character art director at Naughty Dog. Cool. Uh, I wanted to first congratulate all of the developers um, for 25 years uh, of amazing, amazing Resident Evil titles. Um, I hope that no matter what game you touched or what part of the game you were responsible for, um, you've brought inspiration to so many people over the years, myself included. So thanks so much, guys. And again, congratulations. Hello, my name is Siobhan Reddy and I am the studio director at Media Molecule. I uh, wanted to start out by saying huge congrats to everybody who's ever worked on a Resident Evil game. Um, you had me at day one um, <laughs> with your incredible franchise. Um, I hope you're super proud of yourselves um, and um, you know, really enjoying kind of seeing well, you know, seeing how your beloved franchise has sort of developed over over the, the, these last 25 years. It's awesome, so huge congratulations to all of you. I would have loved it if at the end they had like one that was clearly like a cameo they bought. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be fun? Okay, Hi everyone, go. I'm Hiroyuki Kobayashi, producer on live action and anime entertainment for Resident Evil. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the series. Mm -hmm. Having worked as a programmer on the first title and as producer on several titles over the years, it's amazing to see how far the franchise has come. It's a brand name that you hear even in the movie business, and it's thanks to the love and support from the fans. To all of you, thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, we have something new to share today from one of our Congress. latest projects. Jared Burner, thank you. Okay, world premiere. Here we go. Buckle up, everyone. <laughs> Never gotten clearance to land that fast before. You must be special. Oh, it's the White House. Leon? Claire? Could you take a look at something? I love that he still has the same haircut. I can't get anyone to go on record. Doesn't that look a good artist? Oh. I gotta go. Don't do anything stupid. Hey, Leon. That outfit doesn't suit you. I feel like I'm missing a reference on that one. Let's get the president to the bunker. Anything even remotely hostile gets a headshot. Jeez. Oh, oh, okay, I see it's zombies have made it to the White House. Wow. <laughs> On Netflix? What? What did you think? I'm that wasn't happy a we're game. Finally able to share the latest trailer for Resident Evil Infinite Darkness with you today. Starring Leon and Claire. It takes place in 2006, wow. approximately 2 years after the events of Resident Evil 4. Huh. A zombie outbreak is happening in the White House, and the president wow. is none other than the father of Ashley Graham from Resident Evil oh, 4. Oh, sure. He's just one of the many characters that will I thought be holding a microphone for a way. second, but it's so a flashlight. Please stay tuned. Resident Evil wow. Infinite Darkness will be airing on Netflix worldwide in July 2021. Wow, that's and fascinating. And I have one more announcement for you oh. related to the live action reboot of Resident Evil. Filming in Toronto has wrapped up and we're in the middle of creating the creatures in CGI. So please stay tuned for more information, including the release date. Until next time, thank you for watching. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh. You okay? Oh. Uh-oh. I can't believe we're making a show, though. I was all excited to play in the White House, but that's pretty cool, too. <gasps> Dead by Daylight. Oh. I find Dead by Daylight uh, hard. On behalf of everybody here at Behavior, but I know that a lot of people will be excited for this one. On 25 years of horror. Over the years, I feel like he has the same our chair I have. 4v1 multiplayer action game, Dead by Daylight, has become the Hall of Fame of horror. And today, I'm excited to say Resident Evil will soon be joining our universe. Now tune in to our fifth anniversary broadcast on May the 25th for the full reveal of the Resident Evil chapter coming to DVD this June. Cool. In the meantime, if you're up for it, 
I suggest you get some practice in before <laughs> the chapter comes into the fog. Because look, you have two choices here. Kill or be killed. It's your call. I'll be killed. Because I'm bad at Dead by Daylight. <laughs> the game is so hard. Um, well, I know a lot of people love it though, but... Yet. Oh. Here's one more announcement that's taking okay. Resident Evil to a brand new point of view. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, VR Resident Evil, hold on. Hi, I'm Mike Morishita, executive producer at Facebook. Resident Evil, the franchise that changed the way we think about video games, is still going strong after 25 years. I have a VR. Years. Congratulations, Capcom on this incredible milestone. Okay, well, that's now let's fine. let's rewind for a moment. I remember when Resident Evil 4 launched in 2005. Cool. It was amazing, brilliant. Nobody had ever seen a game like it before. And it remains at the pinnacle of the survival horror genre. In the 16 years since the launch of Resident Evil 4, the gaming industry has evolved and new ways to play have entered the market. <gasps> and we've been eager to explore how Resident Evil 4 could be enhanced for a <gasps> modern audience. I'm Mike Verdue, VP of Content at Facebook Reality Labs. I love I'm his wall art. to announce that Capcom, Oculus Studios, and Armature You can type Studio into this typewriter? To bring Resident Evil 4 to Quest 2. We're thrilled about this game. We can't wait for you to experience the world of Resident Evil in a new medium. It's immersive. It comes <gasps> with a first person perspective. Oh my god. And bring new richness and depth to the Resident Evil 4 experience you know and love. Wow. You'll be able to step inside the game for the first time. <gasps> Tune in to the Oculus Gaming Showcase. I just played week, RE4 like a couple of years ago, more but details on Resident that's Evil exciting. VR. How we brought this title to this new medium. <laughs> VR Little Lord Boy, exactly. Wow, I'm curious about that. You can tune in on the Oculus Facebook page or on Twitch. Cool. My father? Can I put her into a dumpster in VR? <laughs> oh, that's fun. I know, I also have a rift too. Can I put on my rift? Hmm. Well, either way, and cool. And that's it for our showcase. Let's recap wow. the exciting news from today's event. Resident Evil Village releases on May 7th, and a demo experience will be available for a limited time each week leading up to the game's launch. Each week? Oh, wow. PlayStation can download the demo starting today. The Mercenaries mode was also okay. announced with a first look at gameplay. This fan favorite will be included with the game. And finally, to celebrate 25 years of the franchise, we have Resident Evil Infinite Darkness coming to Netflix and new upcoming collaborations with partners outside of Capcom. Thanks again for spending some time with us today for another exciting showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and it's been an honor being here with you again and hosting this event. Have a great day. Cool. That was fun. I thought everyone did a really good job. Oh, they know how much we love. <laughs> another time. Hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave, especially from this high angle. <laughs> I feel like I'm strung up on something, or I guess Ethan Winters is strung up. Wow, fun. I'm excited. I mean, I love Resident Evil. I'm excited for Resident Evil Village. Um, I don't know, it all looked cool, you know, which is to be expected. <sighs> I'm Yeah, I'm excited. All right, I guess I'll move away from uh, my screen. I don't think this is gonna show anything else. But that was cool. Um, thank you all for joining me on this official uh, Resident Evil stream official um anyway great cool i'm excited um i'm probably gonna play the demo when it comes out on stream because i played the other one and i had fun um yeah official resident evil stream thank you all for being here i'm just gonna put all of our extra codes into the chat so have fun with them still a few extra stream is official official these codes are for Resident Evil Village Avatar for your PlayStation if you're in North America in this official stream. Official. Um, anyway, there are a bunch of codes. There's a space in between each of them. Not the best way to put them into a chat. But um, enjoy them if you haven't already. 
In the meantime, um, yeah, I'll be back at 8 p.m. with more Resident Evil. Of Resident Evil 5 with Jeff Bacalar. So I hope to see you there. It won't be official, but it will be fun. Um, anyway, let's find someone fun to rate. Um, let us rate. Oh, I should also give y'all, if you want to find more information, here is a link where you can find more information. I'm going to put it into the chat 500 million times. Um, there you go. Enjoy. Anyway, that was a fun stream. Really quite the journey we went on. Oh, that's funny. What good game? What good? What's good games? Of course, obviously watching along with this. Everyone did a great job. I thought, I don't know. It's always fun to see the press conferences, especially as people are like still at home a bit. <laughs> um, we are going to rate Funke, who is playing Bloodborne, which I think is going to be a good time. So raid. Great. Now to code. Glad to hear it. I hope everybody gets their codes. Um, thank you again for joining me on this official stream journey. Um, I'm sure I will see you very soon for the demo and then for the game itself. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, a lot of people are putting pictures of hogs and honkers in the uh, YouTube chat. <laughs> so I'm just going to close that page. Anyway, we are raiding and I will see you later. I'll see you back at 8 p.m. Eastern. All right. Thank you, mods. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all for being here. Goodbye.